Welcome back once again with more D&D from our fearsome party that is, uh, that is, uh, wait, are these the creepy guys? Uh -huh. Wait, who are you calling creepy? Who are you calling creepy? creepy? I, what the heck? Up, up, oh, up. I don't know. I think, uh, and your, your paladin's a little bit, uh, is a little bit creepy, isn't it, McConnell? I mean... Depends on the depends on the context. I mean, what do you what are you trying to say here? I, huh? I don't I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like you, it's what do you like, think? Because I because I throw up a celestial sh shroud, I'm fucking creepy. Is that what you're saying? Well, it's a pretty nice. it's a pretty scary shroud. Uh, if I might now he's scary. So you're calling me scary? Uh, I mean, you're kind of scary. Uh, uh, yeah, I think scary is actually pretty fun. I mean, I mean, paladins, I guess paladins are kind of scary to all those that would do uh, that would do wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, no. now yeah, now I'm on board. With now that. we're on board. Okay, got it. But would you be down to be creepy to like evil skittering whores? Yes. Okay. That's... Hey, you're not talking about my son, are you? <laughs> Wait, you have a son? What was his name? <laughs> I yeah, think you guys. Junior. I think you guys are literally calling him Junior. Junior, that's yeah. right. Are you like Junior out of this? <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, you guys were up to all kinds of uh, pretty wild stuff. Uh, but for those of you uh, that are watching, uh, yes, uh, this is a group that has played uh, some stuff in. But we like to make sure that every single episode is a new jumping-off point. So don't be worried if you are uh, if you're brand new uh, here. Uh, and of course, uh, if you are joining, it's good to see you again. Uh, but we'll make sure to catch you on as we guy as we like play through things because uh, these guys are uh, these guys are super OP, uh, super experienced role players. Now, isn't that right? Uh, I mean, some I'm more than others. Yeah. We invented it. <laughs> yeah. Invented it. That's pretty yeah. good. W's only. I taught Walnut everything he knows. <laughs> I'm just here to hang out. <laughs> now that's perfect. Well, uh, I think uh, we are um, we're probably. Um, in a pretty good place. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess maybe it's time for us to start getting ready to get started. Let's go. All right, let us do this. So we may have some people that are new here. So of course, uh, you guys are like super big streamers. You guys are mega popular. Uh, I'm definitely the little guy at the table. So I think I'd like to start off with a brief introduction for those who've just joined us. Well, hey guys, Riku D20 here. Just call me Riku, it's easier. Now these fine, amazing RPers and even more amazing players have built some amazing characters. They've got paladins, they've got artificers, they've even got barbarians and bards and uh, a goblin-like rogue. And they control everything about these characters. But then, what do I do? Well, I control the world. From the rocks to the trees, to their friends and their foes, to everything that they'll see and everything that they'll know. But I'm no one scary. I'm not trying to get their characters chased deeper and deeper into a unknown set of caves or anything. I'm just a humble storyteller. And what a story do we have prepared for you guys today? Our party had recently accepted a job to investigate uh, a little bit of a disturbance at the border of two great nations of Revendatia and Valdar. Not wanting to get any official resources tied up, they sent a bunch of very brave adventurers. They were able to solve a little bit of a scuffle between monsters that was causing some caravans to be led astray uh, before trying to fall, follow one of the parties deeper underground. But when trying to track them, things went awry quite fast. They fought very hard to stave off some horrors under the caves, leading them scrambling away for safety after defeating their mighty foe. With resources dwindling, in a cave shrouded by darkness with only the light of mysterious crystals to guide them. They're looking for a place to rest. Will they find it? Well, that's not my call to make. Y'all ready to roll some dice? 
Yeah. That giraffe. Yeah. 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 All right. Now we are unpaused and we're back on a map. So, and I think, uh, I think, uh, Trumps, you wanted to see your son again, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah Where's I'm, uh, my I'm boy? Not, I'm not a horrible person. I wouldn't hold him hostage or anything. Uh, yes, your, uh, your, your junior, your, your self proclaimed son has continued to walk deeper and deeper into the shadows of this cave. Now, previously, you saw a lot of uh, gnarled rock, some signs of a scuffle. You've seen you know, large bits of fungus, some dry, some puffy, some slimy. Things have started to even out a little bit more, and now it's looking a lot more uh, like just you no know, abandoned cave formations that civilization hasn't truly touched. A lot of the human meddling that you would normally see in caves that have been mined for resources are curiously bereft from a vast majority of what you've been walking to. But you can see some elements of footprints. And you can also see a trail of what seems to be the slime of a snail continuing to move forward. The air is still it's getting a little bit stuffy as you've gotten definitely much deeper underground but we're gonna take it into explore mode so go ahead and move your characters make perception checks what do you guys want to do who's leading Can the I charge congratulate their... oh yeah who's um, getting congratulated uh kex congratulating dirt that his son has his eyes and that he must be proud thanks yeah i am proud uh where's he going proud he just keeps running off proud hey, little guy what are you I doing how he talks like a freak freak yep. oh, careful, careful careful hey be oh, nice to my son. He said his oh son jesus talks. freak i mean he is kind of weird he's a freak Freak! Oh, that's, a, that's a freak right there. He, he's got yeah. a sense of humor, just there like he his is. Dad. He transformed into a freak. You want me to cave your skull and I'll do it? Skull. Uh, I'm gonna go with a no. Fake gum. Uh, oh, I can I can gum. do light anytime, right? Hmm. Uh, in terms of uh, what type of light? Just uh, my evocation cantrip. Yes, uh, it is a cantrip. If you would like uh, to use it, you can go ahead and click on that icon when it turns into a dice. There you go. What's up? You touching an object or anything? What are you trying to light up? Um, let's see. Can I use it on my greatsword? Um, oh. yes. I definitely think uh, you should be able to do it. It is an object, uh, and you are you are holding it. Okay. I go whoosh, like that. With my greatsword, I'm holding it out. I'm ex I have it extended in my right hand, okay, right arm, and I channel my light through the to the sword, and I hold it out. Excellent. Say, say the evocation. Say the words. Uh, let there be light. Oh, nice <laughs> one. Oh my god. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is why he's in it every campaign. This is nuts. Every campaign. <laughs> what a this role is, player. This is the RP heavyweight maximum curiosity <laughs> or creativity. Oops. Uh, perfect. So uh, you guys now have, there is this, uh, you guys do see that there is this very, it's not like dim enough to be like super dim light. You guys have still a decent amount of vision, uh, but this entire area kind of glows with a weird echo and, or not echo, like a the bouncing of lights. It's like a light version of an echo, I guess. McConnell's sword is now giving you additional light uh, in this area. And Rodney, could you give me a perception check, please? Yes. Absolutely. Nasty shit, dog. <laughs> Rocks are a little bit dark, a little bit beautiful. Um, not much you see here, uh, but... Uh, McConnell, as you're rounding the corner, uh, remember, anything you guys can see on the map 
is fair game. You can see an abandoned lantern right by the side of what seems to be some humanoid made wooden stairs, ladder, something like that. I would like to slow, is it up or down? It is down. I would like to descend the stairs. Ooh. All right. Hey, can I tab Junior on the shoulder? And... Hey, you, you don't look like that. Come on, you're not a goblin. Let's goblin. Go. It's fucking right. He's not a goblin. He'll never be a goblin. <laughs> Whoa, what is this shit? You wanna be? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> it seems like he. No, That's he boy, Junior, boy. but uh, it seems like you guys have, uh, you may have actually uh, found uh, something. Uh, Mankato, what are you exclaiming at? Okay, first of all, I, there's, these crystals are weird, and second of all, can I pick up the lantern? Would I be able to pick that up and, like, maybe hold it? Or Yeah, totally. We can definitely say you can pick it up and have um, a, a lantern that's been abandoned here. Uh, yeah, it can as, come in useful. Yeah. You never know. That's, that's definitely a good thing. You can see some uh, some fungus around you, and there seems to be some mining tools. I would like to inspect the mining tools to see how worn they are. Perfect. You touch uh, the uh, uh, the pickaxe that's lying on the ground, and it is definitely quite cold. It seems like they haven't been used for you know at least. Uh, not too long. It is kind of uh, it's kind of chilly down here. So, yeah, make of that what you will. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm gonna do the only thing that makes sense. I'm going to pick up the pickaxe with both hands and swing it back over my shoulder. Oh my god! And <laughs> after what we just went through, fuck it. All right. Uh, you pick up the pickaxe and you jam it. Well, we don't. We'll see how how deeply it is jammed. But can you go ahead and give me an athletics check, please? Holy shit! Oh wow! Uh, so that is a nineteen up to a twenty-five for athletics, utilizing your great strength. You lift the pickaxe above your head and slam it into the crystal. As it starts to shatter, you can see it start to crackle with a bit of blue energy before it explodes. Ah, deja vu. Uh. Take 16 lightning damage. But remember that forcing a little bit of energy that you've been seeing surrounding your character. There's that little thing on your token's border. As that blue crackling energy rushes into you, as it explodes in a little bit of an AoE, you notice that the orange energy disappears as they both violently react, exploding. Your character is no longer charged. Thank God. Oh, Oh, thank God. All right. Now I just need a little healing. So. So. What the hell was that? X just uh. gonna shrug. <laughs> what the hell just happened? You didn't hit that? Throws, throws down pickaxe. Uh, heavy breathing. What the? Um. I've never seen that happen before. That crystal just blew up. You, you should probably. Like it. <laughs> you should probably do that, Greg. Josh, hit it. Yeah, as hard as you can. As hard as you can. Yeah, all right. Gets very far back. Very far back. Craig hits it. Dirt screams out. Use the sun blade. <laughs> Craig oh, hits it with the sun blade. Oh shit! Try to put your tongue on it. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. yeah. That's so cool. Look at that icon. Oh, oh that's it. sick. I'm gonna do with a bunch of damage right here. All right, a sixteen does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Sneak attack, too. <laughs> yeah, it's a stationary target. I nice. snuck up on you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so you rolled up to a 16, and it sees like 9 plus 10, uh, four, and plus 2 more radiant damage from the Sunblade, uh, giving you a grand total of 21. Uh, this crystal 
completely shatters uh beset uh from uh, a, a mighty pickaxe strike as well as your sunblade before it releases another blast Jay. of blue lightning oh. and here we go take, we'll take a look you take 13 damage as one of your charge buffs is dispelled Oh. Wait, only one. Oh shit, you have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to. You don't have to, but do you want to go into a fight charged. with that shit on? What does it do again? They fucking make it explode during the fight. Remember that big ass boss? He was, well, he was that exploding thing, the that thing made it explode, but I mean sure it would. Well the next the next thing we fight will make it explode. Also, do you remember if they added actually any positives? Was the buff a positive at all? I didn't remember any kind of positive. I can't remember. Like, we had it, and we were all excited because we also were huffing <laughs> the some mushroom. smoke. Oh, the too? mushrooms! The mushrooms, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> somebody the should, spores uh, and stuff, somebody should but... get a mushroom. I, I feel like we... There was something that the electricity gave us. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm trying to... That's why I'm... Brain. I'm definitely not going over there to hit that. You don't want to hit it? Okay. I'm not going to hit it. We I just remember it damaging. Man. Yes. So, uh, do remember when uh, you acquired the charge? It actually restored spell slots. Oh God damn it! Oh, I don't need that. <laughs> well, oh, I need yeah. spell slots. Yeah. I and bash it again. All right. Oh, oh my! <laughs> all right. Before oh, and nine, I mean barely, but right before you attack, uh. Uh, you should kind of shake off that first a little bit of uh, crackling and you start to rear back with your using the sunblade, not the clip, alright, sunblade you're rearing back with a mighty sunblade before suddenly you hear some crackling in the distance what the hell is that noise? what the fuck is that what's your AC? what is that? Uh, 18 18, a 19 will hit. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Fuck. What the hell? You <laughs> see a rock just, ah. just come out All of right, nowhere. Well. It it deals 20 damage uh, uh, right before you're about to destroy uh, the uh, uh, the crystal. Uh, Holy shit. Knocking you down to the ground unconscious how big is the rock massive it Thanks was it, oh my god it, it definitely oh sorry what's uh sorry what was that running did it almost crush him it uh it definitely it wouldn't have like crushed him like uh like some looney tunes nonsense uh but definitely like <laughs> he's probably hurt pretty bad he's bleeding okay. it could have crushed some ribs uh if it had been uh even more on point <laughs> Oh, jeez. Craig. Come on, Greg. We're getting you out of here. Okay, that crystal buddy. threw a rock at you. <laughs> Places down on ground. Yep. I so, mean, he did hit it first. And you guys did... Uh, you guys were all witnessing this, uh, I take it. The direction yeah. of the rock came from here. Oh, my God. Okay, let's not go over there. Something... Maybe lurking in the shadows. What are you, some kind of coward? I never met a cowardly paladin. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm extremely drained. My energy is completely drained. I, I couldn't possibly do any sort of smiting in my condition. We should I probably have. find out where that rock came from. Well, we can't heal any of you. We have no heals. We can't do anything. We have no spells. Craig's dead. Do you really want to go over there after you hey, just got Hey, you know how we rock? can get some You're... spells back. How? Hit the crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that yeah, that's idea. true. I did hit it, and then I didn't get it. Hmm, that's interesting. McConnell, could you give me an Arcana check, please? Mm, at first, he felt like that uh, that explosion, that violent reaction, uh, would have 
led you to some kind of epiphany about what these things actually are. But unfortunately, well, if you're a paladin, you kind of focused more on divine magic and using your great store to cut things in half. You're not quite to draw. You're not quite no. drawing too much more information as to what these things actually are. Yeah, no idea. And, and by the Krieg is that? not actually dead, dead. Uh, he's just dying. Uh, so if he's unconscious, well, ask him to make death save. He's saves. dead! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> just want to make sure I advocate for my boy, Craig. Are these? Somebody threw a rock at him and he's gone. Craig's fucking dead. <laughs> Are these mushrooms? Uh, uh, could you ping out the map? I'm sorry. Yes, uh, there are mushrooms. I think there's, there's one underneath uh, Rodney as well. Uh, they're glowing uh, some quite strange colors, but you notice the ones that are glowing blue are a bit brighter than the others. Can I examine these? Yes. So can give me Nature? either... Oh, there you go. Perfect. Oh, nice, dude. An 18 with nature. So, looking at these mushrooms, as you kind of poke and prod it a little bit. Now, you are charged right now, and you can notice that you can feel some kind of like... It's as if some kind of magic's like jumping between your fingers as you try to touch it. These blue mushrooms seem to be rating a very similar type of energy as these blue crystals, which, as you saw, was doing some damage and consuming some of those... that charge that you got from other mechanisms in this cave. Now, what's interesting is that there's a lot of mushrooms around here, and there's a lot of crystals around here. They seem to be connected, which is a feature you've seen in these cavern systems before. It's like the crystals are growing out of the rock, just like mushrooms also sprout from the ground connected by mycelium network. Mm. You'd probably be best be a little bit careful around some of these mushrooms, especially if you're carrying some charge. Uh, can Tech try just like examining like the difference in what's happening, what happened to McConnell and looking at the uh, energy residue on Craig? Mm. And, and just if there's at least some kind of understanding with knowledge of magic it's gotta be something perfect so uh I, your character would understand having seen a, a combat that the this orange charge and this blue charge seem to be bad news when they collide and of course his body's also covered in a little bit of blood from a like a like a, a big ass rock that was just hurled and just yeeted out of the shadows but can you give me an Arcana check, please? Nice. 12 up to a 16. The rock Ooh. solid uh rock Here solid go. modifier. With a 16, it was looking at what happened to McConnell. Like McConnell's no longer just like sparking with that, that orange charge. But his body isn't crackling with blue energy either. It kind of reminds you of a little game called pinball. Something gets knocked up like into the uh, into the rest of the board then falls back down and can get popped back up down again. But ultimately that flow of gravity is what defines the game of pinball. It's almost like this is a similar interaction or similar game, but there's not just one downward force of gravity. It's not like you're either charged or you're not charged. You could be charged like dirt or Craig, or you could be crackling. It seems like these are two sides of the same coin. You could get a different type of charge if you were to mess with that. And even though Craig is unconscious, that leftover charge that he had has not dissipated. It seems like it just sticks there and stays unless there's some kind of reaction with it. Yes, that's um, what you... Mm -hmm. 
Keck's gonna take the time to meticulously explain all of that to the group so they understand what Keck's perception of how things are going and what is and isn't anymore. <laughs> wow, you guys are smart now. <laughs> yeah, what? Whatever, nerd. Joke's on you, I'm unconscious. Nobody <laughs> listens to me so anyway. Maybe, maybe we could... Maybe we could... Turn it into something really good here. Can I continue examining the mushrooms? Looking for, like, maybe a, a different one? Like, I know there's, like, a hey guys, there's a green a, one. There's a giant mushroom over here. Yeah, there is. I see that all the way down there. Oh, like, I'm trying to find mushroom. something that might heal Craig. Oh. That's that's interesting. You see, we this... really wanted. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Like, even mm -hmm. in the slightest, so I'd be looking for something that maybe had like any kind of medicinal properties, even if it's oh, just also, something small, not like potion worthy. You know, I'm gonna be somewhat useful for once. Uh, if we need to test out these shrooms, uh, RJ here. Well, he's a construct and. Poison won't really do much to the little fella, so he could be a good guinea pig. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Perfect. So, Dirt, you would be pretty sure that the blue mushrooms, in particular, are going to be no good for for healing. They seem to be part of some type of network that's fused with these magical crystals that you've been seeing growing in this cavern. But that's not to say all of these aren't going to potentially be useful. You may be able to go up to some of the other mushrooms. And if you want to go take a look at that large one uh, that Rodney was mentioning. Oh, look at this green one. Oh. This uh, this little, uh, this yeah. little fluffy one right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead and make a survival check. Going for a survival check. Okay. Hey, you know, 15. That's uh, I'm at 12 up to a 15. That mushroom. It's about. It looks very uh, very porous. You sniff it a little bit. Wait a minute. This one's gonna be quite tasty. But it does not seem like it's gonna be a ingredient in and of itself uh, to heal your friend. But. I eat it. Prob oh, oh, you're just going to eat oh, it. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Perfect. Uh, you pick it up, and you just straight up just... You just put it in your mouth and eat it. <laughs> there's, there's no other narration here. Mm, tasty. As you chew it, you notice that it's... Uh, at f the first uh, bite is a very pleasant sour, almost like a, almost a little bit lemony. Before it gives off not only savoriness, but also a bit of spiciness. It's a good amount of... Oh. Oh, God. Can you give me a constitution saving throw, please? <laughs> a 13 would be enough to save as it grows extremely spicy. Oh, you, that's hot! Like, Ooh! Like, kind of like a... You like vent out your mouth a little bit. You kind of ride that wave. Uh, you do not uh, throw up and get sickened uh, due to the sudden onset of spice, but you're able to completely consume and eat uh, the uh, uh, eat this mushroom as the uh, heat starts to fade. That single mushroom uh, could have been uh, could have been worth a lot as a culinary uh, as a culinary foodstuff. Someone may oh have, God damn it! Someone may have wanted to pay a lot of money for that, but. Uh, jokes on them because you just got an amazing, uh, an amazing meal. Mm. I let out like a tiny little fairy belch. A little bit of smoke pours out with it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> also, <laughs> what the fuck also, uh, did anyone want to like try to? I'm assuming you guys are like working to stabilize Craig, like like. Uh, uh, you guys won't. I was, just, I was just gonna leave him there. Let's <laughs> move on. Wait, is That's anyone actually trying, trying to, to like, like take care of Nobody Craig? can do it. Well, like we saying, can't do anything without resting. Uh, like I remember. Saying, Thanks for having me. It's been fun. Uh, yeah, remember, been you uh, you guys can make medicine checks uh, to stabilize a character, but it does not seem like you're being attacked right now. So if you guys are working together to keep your friend from bleeding out to a horrifying death underground, uh, far away from any loved ones, um, 
we can say that he stabilized if you guys are actually trying. Wait, let's try to let's try to Are stabilize. we trying? Yeah, let's try to stabilize. Oh. Alright. Don't worry about rolling, because you have multiple people helping. You guys have a little okay. bit of time. You're not in any right. serious thing. I just wanted to make sure, like, wait, should I have been asking him to make death saving throws? Is this group really going to feed him to the wolves? Uh, but, um, <laughs> all right, so, all right, so, Craig, uh, you are unconscious uh, at this point. Yeah. But we'll say, like, you you can kind of, like, uh, snap out of unconscious a little bit. You can mutter some words. You have a very muddy understanding of what's happening around you. As, uh, as you're hopefully friends, uh, I don't know, uh... uh hover around your body uh, but it seems like uh dirt uh had an amazing reconnaissance um amazing reconnaissance mission uh i think roddy were looking at a couple things what else do you guys want to do i'm so scared to move because we're just so fucked right now i mean at some point in time i really do want to go over and look at this big ass mushroom i do too but like mm -hmm. If we get attacked, we're dead. Like, we all know that, right? Yeah. We have no spells. We have no fucking HP. Craig's almost dead. It's fuck. It's it's over. Listen, I am still... Sh I'm loaded. I'm ready to go. I'll and put this then, team right. on my little fairy bag. Drunk? All right. Are you sure? No. <laughs> he sounds really sure. Come on, RJ. Uh, I'm just gonna grab Bird? dirt by the leg. Yeah. And I'm just gonna start dragging him behind grabbing me. Yourself by the leg. Yeah, you're grabbing yourself by the leg. I'm or gonna sorry, grab Craig. Craig while dirt grabs <laughs> grab himself. Sorry. I read my own name. <laughs> I'm gonna grab Craig's other leg then. I'm just pulling him. I'm quartered. I'm <laughs> okay. being quartered right now. They're you have going. one leg and I have the other, and we're just dragging his yeah. butt into all the dirt. <laughs> Come on, Craig's Junior, being let's go. Split apart like a wish Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly of how he'd want to go out. All right. So you I got you guys seem to be looking at this uh, gigantic toadstool like uh, like mushroom. Yes. All right. Uh, what are you guys looking at it for? Are you guys trying to figure out well, some for, use of it? Mm -hmm. First of all, do I smell anything? Would I smell any scents? Oh yes. Don't worry about rolling a, uh, a perception check for this. Uh, it smells uh, sickingly sickingly sweet that's not a good sign that's not good all right rj bottoms up <laughs> all right what you having rj a do of the mushroom and just throw it in rj's mouth eat up big guy you can hear uh, uh the mechanisms whirring as uh, uh your little homunculus rj chews a little bit of the mushroom a couple things happen Nothing serious seems to be happening to RJ as he is. Let's quickly check. Yeah, he's a construct. Seems to be good. Uh, as it's being chewed by his uh, mechanisms, as he, like, you can see him kind of move up and down and kind of crush it, some juice kind of flows out, and that sweet smell uh, starts, to, starts to dissipate as it's being mechanically crushed. The other thing that you see is that this red mushroom seems to shiver and shudder right when a bit of it was torn off. Hey, how do we know if it's going to work? Isn't he like a robot? I mean, if it doesn't kill him, how do we know it's good for him? Uh, maybe we should all try. Try. I'm gonna try. 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 Yeah, eat some. But Junior seems to think it's fine. Yeah, feed him more. See if you See if, uh, see if feed uh, Junior some. I'm gonna grab dirt, grab Craig by his leg, oh and swing God. him around in front of me and drop him in front of McConnell. Okay, okay, okay. Grabs and then places under mushroom to see if the spores heal him. You just want to kind of watch and see if the spores uh, do anything? I'll, I'll put him under the mushroom. I'll then take out my great sword, huh. lay it flat on the mushroom, and then just kind of like, you know, tap it to shake the spores onto Craig. Got it. Ooh. So as you're uh, as you're kind of tapping the mushroom, you can see with every touch, it the mushroom itself seems to react. It starts releasing a a couple of spores. 
but it doesn't seem to be having too much of an effect on Craig's unconscious body. Dirt, can you give me a perception check, please? Do it, Toms, do it. What? Sorry, which one? Sorry? Uh, a, perception. a perception check, please. Yeah! Oh, nice. Oh, good. I said that you can feel some, uh, some rumbling. And the sound of what seems to be bats in the distance, or maybe not too far away, maybe like 60, 80 feet, making some, uh, pretty wild noises and flying about. But. Uh -oh. Something may be around you, you're just not sure where. Takes a step over here, quickly. Divine Sense. All right. Go ahead and uh, use your Divine Sense ability. There we Whoa. go. Yes, sir. Oh. Cool. So your senses are going to kind of open up momentarily to everything within 60 feet around you. Now, you're looking for anything that may be celestial, undead, or fiendish. Yes, sir. In terms of celestial energy within 60 feet, there is nothing. Fuck, in, man. in terms of something that is fiendish within 60 feet... There is nothing. In terms of undead, there is nothing. That's the first time, actually. Yeah, it's a. Uh, usually you pop them in very interesting places. But you do notice one thing as you kind of open up your uh, senses a little bit and you kind of get more in tune with your surroundings. The water right in front of you is moving pretty fast. This, it, you can, just looking in, it's a little bit dark, but you kind of have that great sword with you that's shedding that light. The water is pure, but it is decently deep. Even though this little river is fairly narrow, a leap of about, you know, 20 or, uh, 10 or so feet should be able to get you across. But if you were to try to swim in it, that current may take you downstream pretty quickly. It may take Even everything. If mm -hmm. you happen to be a hippo. Cool. Does the hippo have swim speed? I think so. Yes, you do. You have a swim speed of 30. And the way swimming kind of works in D&D is that it's treated as kind of a difficult terrain. You just kind of move through it. takes an extra feet of movement for every foot, yada, yada, yada. And if it's particularly choppy, you may need to make an athletics check. Unless you have a swim speed, in which case you can just straight up move. Is it is it possible for me to stay in place and not get moved by the current and just sort of like stay in one spot yeah don't worry about making a roll uh you are a hippo after all uh if you were in the current and you simply were to use one like one turn so to speak uh worth of movement speed you would be able to effectively tread water which means you would leave your action open for dashing if you'd like to move up the river or for anything else i would like to Grudgingly, in Rodney's most friendly tone, jump in and say, All right, you never tell anyone I did this, but just use me as a stepping stone. <laughs> and then I'm sort of going to arch my uh, hippo shoulders and upper back so they're protruding a little bit out of the water. This should help you jump across. It'll be two hops instead of a big one. Go ahead. All right, before I jump, though, I go back to the mushroom. I take Craig, and I kind of just softly roll him out of uh, the umbrella of the, of the mushroom real quick. Perfect. As you... Then... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah go, ahead. go ahead. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. please. Before we do anything else, yep. um, Peck mentions that they have a an ability to detect if there's magic in any anywhere nearby oh you have the ability to detect magic it does detect magic <laughs> <laughs> I, I, what, what else does it do <laughs> yes all right smart alec it will take 10 <laughs> minutes to 
past. Oh yeah, it's next to Song of Rust. Yeah. Okay, F that. Hex says nothing and just is like staring at walls. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so, uh, yeah, McConnell, what were you doing? Uh, honestly, I was just gonna try to chop this motherfucker in half. Yeah, you can go ahead Greg? and totally do that. Can I do that? Okay. <gasps> yeah. All right. No! <laughs> I raise my greatsword. Please. Please. Above my head, just like a lumberjack trying to chop a piece of wood. No. And I bring it down on the mushroom trying to... Oh, God. <laughs> slice it in twain. Oh, I thought you were going to do it to Craig. I was about to sentinel you. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like another one of the uh, one of the uh, one of the shows that we did together. I, I, I think this is a very different type of paladin. Uh, so you're trying to bisect this basically vertically, just yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. An eleven would get you about half. Actually, give me a quick second. Yes, it would take you almost exactly halfway through. You may need to do another um, another bit of damage uh, to cut it fully and should be able to bisect it uh the leftover half is definitely trembling uh quite a lot as you've uh, cut it in half and it starts to release a cloud of spores i'll move over to the other side and do it perfect run around eh, right here i guess all right i bring it back up all right a 16 does hit go ahead and roll your damage a 12 will bring you over the amount of HP that this mushroom has as half of it falls over like something you'd uh, uh, you get ready to grate into a salad or something and this flumps to the ground. It's still glowing red and releasing some spores uh, and it's going to be initiative. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. All right. I didn't know, boy. <laughs> uh -oh. You decided to cut this thing in half. I thought it was just a mushroom. It's going to split into oh, like a hundred God. of them, isn't it? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, we're dead. We're dead and Rodney's in the water. Yeah, I might not just swim and leave you. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Do I, I, uh, do I roll for initiative? Yeah. Um, um, technically, yes, you do roll for initiative. Right. Um, uh, you are Ooh. stable, though. Do I need to roll with like disadvantage because I'm in the water, or nope. am I just like good because I'm aquatic? You're you're totally good for rolling initiative right. normally. Oh, done. Perfect. All right. Now we're gonna have to do something a little bit. I think did everyone get initiative in? I see Dirt, I see Junior, Keck, McConnell, uh, Craig, and Rodney. And RJ moves on your turn. You guys share initiative, yep. uh, so you don't need to worry about RJ at all. Looks like we have uh, everyone. Uh, the half of the mushroom starts to like shake and shudder before releasing a puff of spores that begin to travel. With a little bit of a little bit of force as it starts to tingle uh, into the air, and dirt. This is a this is a this is going to be an interesting question. But what is your dexterity? Sixteen. So when initiative happens, if two creatures are uh, are tied, you can look at your initiative modifier. Or your dexterity failing that to see who breaks the tie and goes first. Just and uh, a 16 is lower than a 20. Go ahead and review in the combat tracker. Perfect. You should be there. As you're starting to get, as you look at the mushroom, My son. you can My hear son. some. You can see, hear something scuttling from behind you as it leaps forward from the walls. That's no! not my son! That's not my son! Hey, it's Junior. <laughs> that is bad. And Keck, you can see Die your party. <laughs> um, it seems to have uh, arms all over its body and what seems oh. to be no face. One claw lifts up as if it's about to strike do down on you. But instead, it reaches out 
and tries to grapple dirt. Now, this thing was hidden. So it's going to be trying to grapple you, but it's going to get advantage on its check. So I'm going to go ahead and have it attempt to grapple dirt. Good luck, pal. All right. So it's going to go <laughs> ahead and make an athletics check. That's not good. Oh, oh no. um, it rolled a, uh, a two and a natural 20. And we take the 20 because of it has advantage. But uh, you can choose either an athletics check or an acrobatics check to contest uh, the skill. Okay. Athletics or acrobatics? Oh, All right, yes. You son of a bitch. Take this. Ooh, oh. it seems like your modifier uh, is lower than this. It's, uh, no matter how well you've done, it seems like it would have been in vain as one hand reaches out towards you as you try to, like, uh, fly away a little bit, just kind of hover away, but you can see it. its arms stretch out as if it's becoming a train hazard all by itself. If one hand grabs you, you can see another hand lift up as if it's about to attack you, but instead, you can feel some energy radiating from the hands that are grappling you. And your breath starts to get shorter and shorter. Let's see if I can do this correctly. Perfect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You didn't notice that on the other ones, too? This is nuts. What the, look at the fucking bumps with the... What the fuck? So... Dirt. You you normally like hover over the ground, right? From time to time, yeah. Yeah, like, were you doing that right now to help you kind of, like, dodge and stuff? Uh, if he was reaching out to grab me, I would have definitely tried to, like, kind of jump away from it, yeah. Perfect. Uh, he did grab you. You can feel that there's, uh, something starts to feel like it's draining out of you as your breath goes shorter and shorter, but you take no damage. And you've noticed that that charge buff that was on you was stolen. As a crackle surrounds this creature, it just uses a free action to let you go. And with its, the last of its movement, or last of its attack, it's this time, it's gonna swing against Keck. Keck does a 20 hit. No. <laughs> I think dodge it... action. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it did, it did actually surprise you guys. This thing, so uh, it, it it was trying to get a move off on its first turn. Yeah, it looks like yeah, your AC is fifteen. A twenty does hit. It's gonna go ahead and roll. Oh! Oh my god! Can, can I sentinel the Hex head is you almost off. Can. Of shoulders. Uh, what does sentinel do? Uh, dirt. Uh. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You're right. You're right. You're so good. You're so good at what you do. <laughs> now it's all... So we'll save that one. It is, uh, it is all... It's all good. So, uh, you can see it just leaves one slash as it lets out a little bit of... It's halfway between a grunt and a chuckle. Junior, well, actually, it's uh, yeah, it's just gonna do this. No. Junior, McConnell, and Dirt, would you like to take an attack of opportunity? You bet your fucking ass I do. Damn right we do. <laughs> Perfect. What the fuck? Yeah, we're gonna have <sighs> Junior reaches out and uh, tries oh uh, to sink its teeth while looking like a slightly mini version of dirt uh, and ends up landing a critical hit. 
shit. Oh shit. What? Deals um an absolute fuck ton of damage. Uh I'm gonna need to go have this thing create a do a quick saving throw. Saving throw. A 14 does save versus a DC eleven for the what seems to be a poisonous type of bite. And damage shouldn't apply. Perfect. Uh, That's what is, my boy! There is 17 damage of poison on top of 6 of piercing. And you all, you guys can see the HP bar. McConnell, would you like to go ahead and make an attack of opportunity? Yep. Let me roll. All right. Hit him with Craig. <laughs> 10 <laughs> does not hit. Dirt, would you like to swing at it? Damn right that I do. Take this! Yeah! A 17 does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. As this thing tries to get away, it's just put me back down on the ground. I saw it swing over a keck. I'm mad. Dirt powers up. <laughs> his muscles get a little bit, like his veins are kind of popping now. He's kind of going super Saiyan mode. Oh. Swings his scythe. 11 damage as your sli uh, your scythe slashes. You can see its skin kind of parts. And what seems to be some kind of ichor oozes out. Some of it's splashing against uh, the walls of this cavern like a painting uh, before its wounds start to seem to close. But you were able to deal 11 damage to it as it completes its movement away from you. It's gonna step a little bit around Keck. See how much further it can go. Uh, give me a quick second. I should only be able to get up to... I think just here. That's it. Uh, Keck, would you like to take an attack of opportunity first? I don't know if you yes. had... Yeah, I think you had a... Did you have a rapier or uh, or some kind of melee uh, weapon? Uh, I have a rapier. Oh, perfect. Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and let you make that attack first before it moves oh, wait, out no, of Wait, no, I have a crossbow. Oh, yeah. I remember we we, we, we respect your character. My bad. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, I forgot about the respec. It's standing and it's watching you guys. And it... This was a surprise round. So what normally happens every character that is surprised and was unaware by the assailant's presence loses their first turn and since this thing went first it's basically going to be able to take a double turn in a row Bruh. what but we're dead how did you do this mcconnell like what is going on dude do, do you really expect me to think that hitting a fucking mushroom is going to cause a boss to spawn on us? There's no way I could have known that. Yeah, I even, use I your even, fucking brain. I did. I tried to define sensing. This oh. thing is not a celestial, fiend, or undead. What the fuck is it? Okay. So, I'm going to assume, this is just an assumption, but this thing was probably the thing that threw the rock. Right. Maybe. And so I think it was going to attack us anyway. Ooh. Well, we'll see what Ooh. it does during its uh, its turn. It took a it took a step back. It's and heck, you can see it, it kind of makes eye contact with you, as one. This definitely looks very familiar. It looks like how. Junior initially presented when you guys first met it. Its face ripples a little bit and seems to start to try to become something close to yours. But it seems to just kind of look around. It glances at Dirt. It glances at McConnell. And it glances at Craig. What's up? Please. It's gonna take a step back. It's gonna take a step back. It's gonna take a step back. 
and it's just going to disappear and melt into the rock itself. Before you guys are even able to take a single turn. And combat is now over. We just got bullied. We got bullied. So is this thing, it could just show up at any point out of any of these walls and just like finish us off. Oh, um. Yeah, it seems like it. Oh, that's a, that would be, that would be pretty, uh, that would be pretty, that would be pretty scary. I think we need to take a little bit of an ad break first and kind of get our thoughts together. All right, we're in ad break mode. So game is paused. Um, yes, oh uh, that was a uh, that was we, we completed a combat. Um, yeah, it seems like there's something hunting you guys. How are you guys? How are you guys feeling? You put an uh, ex machina. You put an ex machina into the thing to prevent <laughs> us from hitting everything. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, <laughs> let's let's see what happened in the first time we played, right? Um, yeah, let's just go hit things. <laughs> we just bash it to start combat. <laughs> and Man. what happened the second time? Uh, oh, here's this crystal. Uh, it's done absolutely nothing wrong. It's just fucking hit it as hard as we bash can. Bash it. Of course, I'm gonna. Of course, I'm gonna take a little bit of um, a little bit of. A, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with it. Uh, Even but... better is, hey, there's these living things that are clearly all connected to each other. And we saved something originally that was functioning with them. Let's cut it in half and eat part of it. <laughs> Bro, it's a mushroom. What do you like? You know, I, I'm not even trying to be a bad guy here. It's just, it's just a mushroom. Yeah. 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 I think. Um, and also, do remember, I don't throw anything at you guys that I don't think you guys can handle. But it definitely seems like, uh, definitely seems like something hunting you guys. Also, I need a. Of course, now take your time. This is a this is an ad uh, break. And uh, McConnell, you've cut like this giant mushroom in half. Um, you see it disappear. Like, uh, uh, did you take any piece of it yet? Or are you planning to take the rest with you? Like, uh, what are you? I was what's... gonna take like a, like a, like you know, you know, like a normal slice of watermelon. You know how big that is. Like just a normal piece of it. Just mm -hmm. like, you know, just enough, like a slice of pizza. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just like, and I put that in my, my rucksack. Back a Brooklyn back. slice? Ooh. No, yeah. not a Brooklyn slice, just like a normal, <laughs> like, you know. Brooklyn slice is so good. Yeah. Okay. yeah, perfect. Yeah, so we'll we'll definitely make sure to add a little bit of that to your inventory. Uh, we'll see that you were kind of doing that as combat kind of like procced. Uh, okay, just sure. uh, uh, Just because it did surprise you. It did kind of jump out. It, it it approached you guys, it was lying in wait, and you guys, uh, you guys, um, were unfortunately just right within its, um, its scary zone, so to speak. Uh, so, um, a spooky zone. I wasn't surprised. <laughs> You're dead. <Yeah. laughs> You're dead. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Yeah, I'm Craig has, uh, has courage of absolute steel as he sits there unconscious. Yeah, as we weekend at Craig's Inn. I have no idea how to recover this. Uh, Keck uses um, message and just whispers. Or no, yeah, just sends a message to Craig to let him know like what's happening and <laughs> what a doofus McConnell is. No, I really wanted the, and... to bring that Am in. I, I'm, getting, I'm getting bullied here. But you can't get upset because this is a private message between Keck and Craig. You're metagaming. Oh. Guys, I'm going to meta... I don't want to be the one to have to figure this out. My character's not smart enough to, should, should, to figure this out. I hope you guys have, figure this out. Junior should just get out of his little form he's in and save the day. That's my That's son. Like, hey, big bro. That's a, Junior should just be saying, hey, big bro, to his big bro right there. Dude. And then, mm. we're, then we're safe. My son did the most damage out of anybody. In fact, both father and son did the most damage out of anybody. Okay, well. I was taking a nap. You're not. You're dead. You're dying. Dude, you will die. You are going to return to the earth. I'm stuck on healing. Earth. Like, what do you want me to do? All of my everything's just saved to fucking heal you guys. I actually don't know what to do because we have no heals. How, do, how the fuck? We either have to figure out how to make a potion with the mushrooms or turn the charge into a healing or something like that with the for Craig. That's that's the only thing I can think of. Is pull it together somehow. Hey, <laughs> Tech uses speak with dead and just talks to Craig. <laughs> he's, 
<laughs> Don't go killing him just yet. What has hey, he done? <laughs> hey, yo, Hex is pretty chill. That. Yo, Craig. <laughs> I yeah. need to tell you. Yeah, what's up? Things are not going well. All right, Probably well, good that you uh, you left early. Yeah, goblin having rules. Oh, never mind. This isn't happening. I don't have any burning essence. Damn it. Oh, in terms of materials, like, we'll say that you guys usually, like, you guys are, like, accomplished spellcasters. Yeah, you got it. Um, yeah, I I'm laughing at the concept of, like, y'all want to speak to Dev with Craig, like, one of our party members who we <laughs> hope we care about. It's like, all right, let me just, like, they're unconscious. Let me take out, like, his club that's, like, lying on the floor. Use it to finish the job so he's dead. They're like, all right, now I'm going to ask you five questions. <laughs> as, Craig, as Craig is saying, I'm not dead. They're saying, it's like, I can still hear him. But yeah, let's make this cannon. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Hello, it's okay. me, the ghost of Craig. Oh God, I don't think we hit him hard enough. <laughs> Keep hitting. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned to you guys, but Kex totally just a gray human being with no gender. There's like nothing. All of it got lost. Can't decide what to be, decides to be nothing. <laughs> You're simultaneously everything and nothing. There's something very zen Everything about that. and nothing at the same time. I like that. That's actually pretty, that's actually kind of cool. For a changeling especially, that's like super, super flavorful. Uh, but yeah, um, oh, we're actually probably, we're good on the ad break if everyone's ready to resume. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay. Oh, Perfect. Uh, so uh, last we left off, uh, the party was ambushed by a large creature that just kind of did a hit and run as it appeared from the rocks and uh, retreated as quickly as it came uh, after dealing a little bit of damage too. Uh, Rodney just witnesses this entire thing while like hippo paddling in the water and uh, you have uh, one very injured party member and an unconscious party member and things are looking a little bit dicey. But you saw that it disappeared in the rocks right about here. What would you guys like to do? Okay. I immediately come to my senses. I rush over to Craig. I pick up Craig. Do uh, Was it Fireman's Carry or something like that? Oh, yeah, totally. I, all right. And then I put him up. And I bring him over to Rodney. I put him on top of Rodney's back. And I tell Rodney to ferry him across. Yep, just like that. All right. And I tell the rest of the, we need to get the fuck out of here. Uh, Dirt's still going to be like kind of puffed up from the battle and he's going to go over to Keck and be like, are, are you okay? Oh, uh, Keck looks at you and just has slashes on her face and just like, everything is fine. <laughs> I don't think everything's fine. Come on, we got to get out of here. Come on, Junior. Journeys end. You can uh, tell now, the Junior. Journey, uh, uh, Junior is shivering, but it's following you. Come on, jump across. It's out of the way for his son and Keck to go first. So, uh, while Junior does look a lot like you, he doesn't have your, uh, your, uh, your little hovering ability, so he's not able to hover over this fast-moving water. So Junior is going to have to throws accept. Junior. <laughs> <laughs> just want to just, you just want to eat him. Wait. Yeah, yeah we, 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 can, we can eat him to the other side. I'm sure, I'm sure he'll be totally fine. Like Junior's a Junior's your pretty thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like um. Oh, Ke and Keck's turned across. You guys, you can we can just move Keck across. It's um. Uh, it's perfectly fine. Rodney's being such an amazing team player right now. Thank you, Rodney. Yeah, don't mention it. Uh, uh, Dirt, um, how are you trying to get across? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little jump. Uh, I'm gonna flap my my little wings. Uh, and I'm barely gonna make contact with Rodney. And, and like a, maybe like the tiniest little footfall, just to like make the jump uh, the tiniest bit easier. As you start to move and you start flapping your wings as you jump, you realize that your wings no longer provide any lift. It 
seems like you've lost your ability to hover. But I'm assuming with Rodney's help, like we'll be able to get you across the uh, across the other side, putting a little bit of a a little bit of a of a water barrier between you guys and this monster. You guys are safely able to make it to the other side. I'm gonna like trip and fall in the water. Uh, it's kind of like catching myself off guard that my wings didn't exactly like catch me there. <laughs> I'm not really gonna think too much of it right now, but I climb up Rodney, and then I get on top of him and. And then take one big leap to the other side. Yeah. All right. You successfully made it to the other side of this river. You can see that there's these, just like before, you saw those blue mushrooms that are, this, these ones are much larger, uh, but they're also glowing that same electric blue. And there's some more fungus up ahead I would like to uh, I'll walk over here I'd like to cut a, a, another small piece of this a pizza sized piece of this mushroom off oh it's definitely big enough to cut a nice slice and using your I mean, somebody got some tools with you too you don't need to like use your great sword to hack at it uh, you are able uh, to safely remove a slice. It's still glowing blue, but you can. The moment it cuts out, it seems like the radiance drops a little bit, like suddenly sharply gets a little bit dimmer before stabilizing. You're pretty convinced that if this slice was left to its own devices for too long, it would lose anything magical about it. I rush back over to Keck. I rush. Be I careful, take out. Don't I, run. I, 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 yeah. I, I, I take my backpack out, and I get both pieces—red mushroom and blue—and I ask Keck to make a potion out of them and see if they're. A, it's a healing potion. Dude, this guy's smart. I'm trying. I'm trying anything I can think of. You, you definitely, uh, in your inventory, you may have uh, some random uh, tools. Uh, you could try to MacGyver something. Uh, you saw uh, that RJ was like squeezing liquid out of that red uh, mushroom. Wait a minute. Wait, no, no. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll hand the pieces, the red and uh, the red mushroom piece and the blue slice of blue mushroom. I hand them to Keck, right? Keck? 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 <laughs> Keck. I'm sorry, I sneezed and I muted myself. <laughs> that was so good. Because I did like a double sneeze and I was like, oh my god. You can Why hear your name being called. I'm saying that he's laughing. And I'm like, Keck. what do you want? <laughs> Keck, please stay. Please take these pieces. I take both pieces? Now. Oh, thank you. I... Oh, fuck. Does anybody have a bottle? Oh, never mind. I've got a water skin. I rush over. I get some of the water in, a, in my water skin. Right? I reach down. Mm -hmm. I, I Boom. Water skin. And I gather up some water in the water skin. I come back. I stand by Keck, and I, I give Keck the water skin, too. And I say, see what you can do. See if you can do anything with that. Make some potions. Potion seller. <laughs> you could definitely uh, try to make an Arcana check if you would like uh, to see if you can fashion a little bit of a macgyver uh, potion. Okay. I was going to say, like, I don't, I don't think Keck has any knowledge of potions besides like properties and like uh Keck's uh inventory I have an entertainer's backpack and food a candle and a jug of water and <laughs> wait what if you use the okay listen listen we've all made tea before okay you, just mm -hmm. think of this like a, a mushroom mm -hmm. tea and you heat it up we'll heat it up with the candle <laughs> that's that's great perfect we'll heat it up with the candle 
we'll make a mushroom tea and see if it heals great. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, Kex takes out the one white candle and sets it like um sticks it so it sits uh straight up in the dirt and hopes that someone can light it. <laughs> Kex doesn't have a lighter. I do you want me to do the Arcana check? I think um I think you guys should have like someone has a dungeon engineering uh, pack. Someone's got an explorers pack. I think collectively you'll have enough to do what you guys okay. want to do. So, okay. yes, let's go ahead and get that Arcana check. A 19 up from a 15. Oh, man, Ooh. bards with their skills. Am I right? Holy crap. Uh, you know that you won't be able to properly refine this with, like, an herbalist kit or anything. I don't think anyone mm -hmm. has one. But uh, you are able to make a little bit of an infusion, so to speak. Not like an artificial infusion. That's Rodney's territory. This is, as McConnell said, kind of a, a, a shroom tea. A couple things you're noticing. At first, when uh, it didn't look like the blue slice was giving off any liquid or anything really to the tea, the red one leached out first, and only once it started to turn a cloudy red did the blue turn it a little bit into a purple before going back to blue. This seems to have created some kind of tea that's going to keep the essence of these... Uh, of these mushrooms but with a 19 you would always you would also realize something as you tended to the potion it starts to crackle as if it's liquid electricity it reminds you almost exactly of those blue crystal that uh that craig and mcconnell were destroying and it also reminds you a little bit of this crackling blue energy that surrounded that monster that just attacked you guys earlier. If this is similar to those, if you feed it to Craig, it may cause a reaction with the current stack of charge that he has, which may kill him. I'm glad that uh, I have enough knowledge to know this. <laughs> Oh, no. But you do have some essence of blue. It's cracking the charge. It seems okay. like if you were to drink this or somewhere to drink this, maybe something will happen. But whatever it is, it seems like it'll be very along the lines of this blue energy that you've been seeing in this cave. Okay. Uh, Keck is definitely going to explain that this is not something that we should give to Greg with his current status of being charged with the uh, the other energy but also explains that this tea is radiating an electricity and has its own power properties. So if someone chooses to drink it, they could get those powers, whatever those properties end up being. Listen, I think whatever you guys think is best. Bert is gonna, he's kind of like calming down after that. And, uh, Kind of see him like he deep huffs, and he's like, uh, "Well, I mean, I'll, I'll drink it if we have to, but uh, hey, maybe you want to throw some of this in." And he holds up the poop that he collected. Oh <laughs> hey, uh, he quickly man. covers the water skin and like jerks it away, and I guess gets pelted with shit, and is like, "No, no, I'm holding it up. I'm not throwing oh. it." At you. <laughs> You're like tossing it at us, like here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally oh, forgot oh, you what? actually still have that. Like it's. It seems like uh, Keck is not willing to add your poop to the tea. Oh, I mean, I'll either. still drink it if you want me to. Uh, I'm gonna pass the water skin to McConnell for him to decide what he wants to do. He said, "If." Do, wait, so did you convey that information to all of us? Yeah, I, I'm speaking to everybody and I'm pointing out that we should definitely not let Craig, like, give it to Craig. You said because of the charge, right? Mm hmm. Looks at Keck. Looks at Waterskin. <laughs> Contemplates. Contemplates. 
drinks. Oh god. All right. You swig uh, this makeshift tea uh, made from underground river water, uh, dubious red mushroom number one, uh, dubious blue mushroom number two. Yep. And you can feel it start to crackle and fizz as it goes down. Not, it doesn't seem like anything bad's happening, but you're feeling a, you're feeling a little bit good. You're crackling. You're now Whoa. crackling. So we'll we'll get a we'll get a little bit of a buff on you really soon. There you go. Oh, oh, that's the buff the thing had. This is the buff the thing had. You guys <laughs> saw it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We need more of it. We need more. <laughs> I'm telling. Listen, this is the key. This is the key to guys. Listen to me. Listen to what I'm telling you right now. This is the key to solving this mission. Look at me. Do you see me crackling right now? I'm crackling all over the place. Do you see it? Crackling dude crazy, dude. Gets a little bit of, a little bit closer and he's like, uh, well, how was it? Uh, you want to wash it down with some of this? And he holds out the poop again. No, get the, get the, roughly hits his hand away. Get the hell out of here. All right. Uh, so it seems like uh, you understand the effect of making a potion with this, or a tea in this case, with this blue mushroom. And it seems like you figured out the use of this red mushroom that you harvested a little bit earlier. That's pretty cool. What do you think we should do? You can ask my son. He Junior. Do you know that guy? Junior is staring off into the distance, looking in that direction, looking in this direction. Looks a little bit at this wall, glances back up, and then starts to shiver, saying, Your journey's end. Oh my god. Oh my god. Junior can see the monster in the fucking rocks. Junior can see the fucking monster. I'm telling you. I'm telling you this is what's happening right now. How much more of the tea do I have? How much tea is left? It seems like in order to proc uh, that effect, he needed to make a fairly large volume of the tea. Shit. It seems like if you could find a way to distill it, maybe if there was someone that knew more about these mushrooms and had the appropriate equipment, they'd be able to distill a lot more yield from the raw materials. Only you can bring them back, bring it back to them. All right. To get more samples. We gotta explore. We're actually gonna have to go out and explore, boys. What an adventure! What are we gonna do about Craig? I don't know what to do about Craig. <laughs> Move hey, on. Dude. Okay, dude. Who's, wait, who's got the most strength? Who's got the most strength? 16. I got 16. What do you got, Rodney? I mean, that's more than me. I got 12. All right, dirt. Fuck it. I'll carry. I'll carry Craig. I'm the paladin. Fuck it. I'll carry him. Dirt goes over, grabs no, dirt I'll by the leg. I'll fucking carry him. <laughs> I want to drag him. <laughs> yeah. I'll fucking carry him. I got Junior. Yeah. As your hand uh, touches Craig, you can start it. You oh, can feel no. like it's tingling, and it no. starts to grow violent. Are you sure you want to make? Can't, I don't, don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to pick him up anymore. You can't pick him up. I don't, I don't okay. want to pick him up anymore. I don't okay. want to uh, take him. Yeah, Keck's gonna stop him and point out the fact that he drank from. The water I didn't skin. think about it. I didn't think about it. Okay. Follow okay. me. I, I'm the group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna pull oh, Craig behind me. Cool. You're with me, Come Craig. On, Get back here. Definitely know what they're doing. Craig is magnetically attracted to McConnell. <laughs> what? <laughs> Connecting to him. 
It's an energy force, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. awesome. reaches out, grabs Craig As by his leg. You oh, yeah, yeah. Round the corner. Okay. Yeah, uh, could you give me a perception check, please? Absolutely. I love doing those. Prove it. Do it. An 11, uh, up from an 8. Yeah, that's a, a fairly decent perception. Around you, you can see that the rocks here remain slightly disturbed. It's the, the rivers continue to gush. You can hear the sounds uh, coming from from around you. It makes it difficult to to hear too far away. But you do see there's a bunch of red mushrooms here, in addition to the blue ones that you did see before. They remind you a little bit of the uh, of the one that you harvested earlier. Well, hold on. There's a new mushroom I'm seeing. Oh, which one? <laughs> Are you saying this out guys, loud? Is it? The, yes, I am. Wait, guys, what? hold on. I figured it out. None of this has actually happened. We stopped at the red mushroom. We're all tripping balls. We're all still at the red mushroom. Nothing of this has happened. Hey, you could be right. So you think you think this is all fake, huh? Yeah, we're just high, man. Takes great sword out. Yeah, just, just, you know, yeah, hit yourself with a sword. Nothing will happen. Pokes Rodney with it. Ow, dick. <laughs> How'd that, does that feel fake? <laughs> I said we're high, not, not real. I'm not hallucinating. This is real. Yeah, this okay. mushroom is real. Look at this purple. Mu look, look at this purple one right here. This is Dragon a new breed Craig. of mushroom we've stumbled across, boys, right here. This guy just accepts the reality handed to him, RJ. <laughs> Fight the system. I kneel down. I kneel down and pluck the mushroom. Which one are you trying to pluck? The purple one between the Ooh. red and the blue. Yep. Mm. You, can, you pick up the purple one, and you can see uh, at, the, at the base of it, it has little what seems to be legs that seem to be scurrying. It doesn't have a voice. That mushroom seems to be alive. Bird's going to see another one of those green mushrooms and he's going to run over and pocket it. Oh, that's Ooh, good. It's like sashimi. Tasty. You should eat it, McConnell. <laughs> uh, did, did, was I able to pluck it? Oh, yes, it's in your hand right now. It's not that... It's like it's a pretty chunky mushroom. Uh, but you you have you, you have in your hands its little legs are trying to run away from you. This pal my this pal is not evil, but I don't know if this is evil to eat it. Actually, I actually Well No, it, it would be, it would be. I I set it down. I set it down. I grab it and throw it into my mouth. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Hey, that looks Bro. good! Uh, you, the moment it hits the ground, uh, you see uh, uh, Rodney with hippo reflexes just like reaches out, grabs it, um, and just and just straight kills it. Uh, and um, yeah, you can it it definitely tasted a uh, very stringy, stringy and very uh, very tough. It didn't taste particularly good, but you don't need to make a Constitution save or anything. It seems like. That you don't really know exactly what the hell uh, that was, and uh, unfortunately, since there's nothing really left to inspect, I, I don't know if there's going to be a a chance to do so <laughs> at all. All right, that one didn't taste great, but whatever. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cross over. I think I see some more. Can I uh, try to inspect the, these other ones? Are they of the same variety? The other purple ones? Uh, these ones over here. Yes. It seemed like you you grabbed it. It did did seem like the, that purple one was uh was fairly similar. Okay, I'd like to see if I can learn anything from these. Perfect. Yes. Go ahead and give me a nature check or an arcana check. Uh, it's the same for me. I'll just go nature. Perfect. A twenty-four. Holy shit! Wow, he's sour. Now, there's a, a normally people would say that like there are, there are definitely some people in, in in this wide world out there that do not eat 
meat for for many reasons cruelty for uh for for religion or for just personal fitness and health mushrooms are a great source of all kinds of nutrition uh, uh for uh, for people it's uh, it is an excellent substitute for for meat but there are definitely some mushrooms that are a lot more alive just like there are some plants that uh definitely move around quite a lot you've heard tales of shambling mounds large plant-like horrors that walk and consume the flesh of the living in a very odd turn of events you've heard of myconids oh you're pretty sure with an, uh, a nature check of 24 that you did not just eat uh, a baby myconid because they just don't grow out in the open willy-nilly they usually grow and raise each other they, they're, they're little they're like they're kind of like humanoids but not really they live together but there is an evolutionary line where there are some mushrooms that do run away from you some of them grow up to be carnivorous what you ate was likely a child form of some creature that simply exists in this caves looking like an unassuming mushroom before getting up to kind of do its business oh and the important question if they're babies they're probably not going to drop anything that's pr particularly useful as loot All right, look, guys, uh, if there's any conscientious objectors, you don't got to worry. It's, it's about on the same level as, like, veal, okay? It, it's not even that tasty, though, so we can probably just skip chomping on them. Do you, do you feel anything? What do you feel? Uh, well, I'm kind of tickled pink. I mean, Craig kind of got bopped. But besides that, I'm fine. Steps up to Rodney. Rodney. Yeah. I've got a mission for you. Uh oh. I well, I, maybe I will be a conscientious objector. I need you to get in the. I need you to get in the river. Okay. And swim upstream to inspect the waterfall up there. Yeah. All right. It's gonna take me a little bit. RJ, stay here and maybe forage for any, you know, more veal. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to start adding up here. Places hands on hips. Does, actually, does, does wait slash E waits 11 and watches Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought we were doing like a Titanic movie there for a second. Oh, no. Thought your hands were on my hips, big guy. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Alright. Actually, slash E, wait 11, you put your wrists against your hips and not your hands. So, oh, nice one, Lulu. Yes, the right <laughs> Parker one. Okay, uh... Yeah, uh, there's some suds. I'm not really finding anything too interesting over here. So, I'll give you a little bit of information. You do what not you need say? to make... There's like, it's it's just kind of like you know, there's some bubbles, and uh, I don't know, man. Let me see if I can look around. Plural. Oh, oh yeah. Don't worry about uh about rolling anything just yet. Uh, Rodney, okay. you do see something uh over here. So one, this waterfall seems to be about a little bit over ten feet high. The water is slippery or makes the rocks a lot slippery so it'll be pretty difficult uh to climb up however there is what seems to be a high ground uh i don't think we're gonna get up here but there, there's definitely like another level up there where the water's coming from i, I can try to get up here and see if i can get a better look we might have to go Rodney. around. Rodney, check. Look at the look at the, the waterfall. Check the waterfall for any under 
the water for any hidden com compartments or alcoves. Yeah, you have to. That's where the pirates okay. put the treasure. Check, check it out. See if there's any hidden treasure. Slash me retrieves. Uh. What am I retrieving? Slash me retrieves. Yes. <laughs> you don't Retrieves. Have to say slash me. <laughs> uh, I am going to retrieve my wand of secrets from my bag of holding. Ooh. And I'm going to use a charge of my wand of secrets and see if there's any secret passages or doors or corridors behind the waterfall or under it. All right. Go ahead and click on the thing. Perfect. All right. So you should be able to place a measured template. Uh, uh, just let's do like this. Whoa. Cool. All right. Oh, this is good. This has got to be good. Within that area. That looks area, so cool. So you can, uh, so you can see that the the wand releases out kind of a zone that seems to pulsate as some arcane glyphs appear in the air, shifting among themselves as if they're executing a program or going through some kind of a set of magical steps. Underneath the waterfalls, there are no secret passageways. However, above the waterfall, right at the uh, edge of as far as the Wand of Secrets can show you, there seems to be some kind of trigger. It's like Kind, I wouldn't really say it's a secret door or a trap, but rather it seems to be part of a system. You're not sure what it is, though. But there's definitely something up there at the top of the waterfall. All right, uh, McConnell, uh, buddy, there's something up at the top, but we, get, we probably got to go around to get there. Got a plan. Come on back. All right. Swimming, swimming. Look at that swim speed. <clears throat> okay. Whoa! Did you guys see it go away? Emerges gracefully yes. in the water. <laughs> I know what to do. That was cool. All right. I get on top of Rodney with. Ooh. Hold on. I need. I need my sag insurance for this. McConnell straddles Rodney. I get on top of Rodney. And I I take okay, we get me, Rodney, and RJ. Since Rodney can control RJ. I throw RJ up to the top of the waterfall. You tell RJ to push whatever you found, and we'll see what happens. What do you think? Uh, can I? Uh, hold on. Thinking, thinking. If I'm too heavy, I can drop my backpack and shit, like on regular. Um. No, I'm not. It's not about. Yeah, I mean, RJ is pretty small. He is tiny. I think we could probably do that. How big was the thing you saw? Could he press it? I, uh, I didn't, I, I don't know. Um. Well, do you want to try it anyway? Potential. I mean, he does have a, he has a force strike. So, like, even if he couldn't press it physically, he could do his force strike, which exerts enough to, like, you know, it's the equivalent of... He can do 1d4 plus 3 damage, so mm. we could probably enough to trigger something. Maybe. I, it's I'm a small just... projectile, so like if it's a button or something like that, he could probably press it. Yes. Oh, do some like Zelda shit on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. Ronnie. We could try. Let's try. Let's give it a try, Ronnie. Let's All right. Go. All right. So... We're gonna so art so and McConnell's also going with Rodney as well, right? Yeah, because I gotta throw him on top. He's gonna throw RJ up. 
All right, so I'm, I'm going to play back the plan just to make sure I understand. And also for everyone that's watching, this will be a nice little summary. So Rodney has swim speed and is going to carry McConnell, who's going to be carrying RJ, up to the base of the waterfall. And then McConnell is going to throw RJ, who's relatively small and light, this is Rodney's homunculus, up to the top so that RJ can trigger whatever Rodney found. And we're just going to kind of see what happens. Correct. That's really, really smart. Uh, I'd love to see how this goes. Go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and move right up there, and we'll start to resolve this. All right, let's get going. Perfect. So we'll let, we'll let you guys move. You can see uh, Junior is going to kind of peer down. He's going to look at you. Yeah. And we'll just leave you right there. And just Yeah, Rodney can just go ahead and just chill right there for a quick second. Junior is going to start... Uh, uh. And he's gonna go back to his original form and just look left and right, left and right, and just say, "Journeys end," and it's going to be initiative. Oh come on! No. Uh -oh. All right. So even uh, Rodney McConnell, uh, you are still rolling initiative, but the party is split. So I'll go ahead and... This must be something you want to do, because I, I remember you said this is split party. This is, like, rough. <laughs> hey, you guys definitely have the... Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Look at Junior rolling up no. to a 23. Don't worry, guys. I got this. All right. So looks, I believe. looks like so we have a, another surprise round. But it seems like a couple of you rolled higher than the creature, so won't be able to do a hit and run. You can see from the walls behind you, a creature starts to emerge. First its head, then first an arm, then another arm as it kind of pulls its torso out of the cavern. And it is going to try. It cannot reach Craig at this exact moment. It's going to go for me? <laughs> so I think it only has one choice and it's going to try to make a claw attack against Keck. Of course. Sentinel! Why not? You know, like... <laughs> oh, Sentinel! <gasps> oh, yeah. Um, a, a 12 would not have hit. So uh, go ahead. I'll just just be friendly. I'll, I'll go ahead. Let, go ahead and save your Sentinel. It's... Um, a 12 was not enough to hit uh, Keck. But it okay. is going to try to attack a again. Oh, I should be rolling with advantage because it was hidden and it's surprised. So actually, we'll say we use the Sentinel. We'll have it take the 12 because uh, that will just be the lesser of whatever it is. You cause it to miss uh, and it was not able to hit Keck. That's a good use of your reaction. Uh, but I will make sure to roll it properly this time. Oh, good. I'm glad I don't want you to miss out that chance of opportunity and advantage. <laughs> <laughs> the monster, monster must do what the monster will do. So it's not my fault. I'm sorry. All right, here right, we go. right, right, uh, right. Sure, uh, sure, sure. Now, of course, I'm just, I'm just having some fun. There we go. Oh, uh, look at that. Uh, it rolls. Did it not roll with advantage? Oops, I made a mistake. Uh, Looks like you don't have any advantage. Oh no! I just can't use hockey's for the life because I am a dum dum. That's okay. Oh. So we'll take the higher one, which is a 16. I think your AC was exactly 16. Oh no, it was a 15. 15. It's going to go ahead and roll its damage. Oh, it no. slashes you hitting you for 10 as you fall unconscious as the character is now dying. Uh -huh. However, uh -huh. it seems like it doesn't... It It's used up its action. It simply kind of takes a step forward, looming over Craig. It mm. glances at Dirt, who's right next to a fallen ally, and... 
It elects to not try to grab the body of Craig, who's lying at its feet, and thus it will end its turn. So, since you guys were surprised, this is going to go up to the top of combat, which is Junior, and then will be Keck. Junior is going to take a step forward. Get him, son. And is not going to try to attack. Instead, <gasps> Junior is going to Imposter. desperately grab Craig's body and drag him a little bit away from this monster while saying, J Journeys! Journeys! End! Fly, fly, you fools! And Junior is going to... Because he's wrestled moon to get in front of Craig and is... Uh, I think that's all that Junior's really going to be able to do during its turn. Uh, Keck, you are now unconscious, but can you give me a death saving throw, please? To the top of your character sheet where your hit points used to be. And remember, you're not dead just yet. Uh, were you able to find it, Rona? Oh, I thought you were waiting for a walnut. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's Keck. There you go. Perfect. There's just so many dead people. Yeah, there's uh... a... <laughs> yeah. So uh, you rolled a nine. So the way death saves mm -hmm. work, for those in the audience that may not be familiar, if a death save, it's another save, just like a strength save or anything, right? If it's under 10, you get a failure. If it's over 10, you get a success. You're trying to reach three successes before you reach three failures. If you can't, okay. your character's gone forever. Or, well, as forever as happens in D&D. You know, there's, there's mm -hmm. magic that can get around it. Uh, so you start off with one failure. You're one step closer to oblivion. Do you want me to keep going? Oh no, you're you're all good. You okay. just have to make one per turn, so it's not like you're just gonna bleed out suddenly, just like time okay. acceleration, just turn into a skeleton. That'd be uh, that'd be that'd be pretty <laughs> fucked. Uh, this creature is going to take a step away from you, Dirt. Dirt, would you like to take? Oh, you used your reaction to prevent her own from getting attacked from that first one. I don't think you can actually take an attack of opportunity because that does take your reaction. Yeah. But now he's still having a little bit of trouble getting to Craig. So he's going to unfortunately have to do what he's going to do. He's going to try to swing at Junior. No. With a 10, it is not enough to hit Junior as Junior mimicking its form reaches out two or three of its claws and somewhat swiftly deflects the blow, almost pairing it. And the first attack does not hit, at which point this creature lets out a menacing and frustrated growl before trying to attack again. A 24 no. will hit and dealing nine damage as its claws slash through Junior's body as it lets out a scream. Junior is left with only one HP. No. The creature no. ends its turn. Craig, you don't need to worry about making a death save because you are stable. Rodney, you can hear some absolute horseshit happening from behind you, barely over the rush of the waterfall. What would Rodney want to do? Oof. Um. I can't even see this thing anymore. Uh, is it out of your line of sight? Oh, yeah. just, just barely um, I can see it, yeah. Well, I'm gonna move just enough so I can get a, a, a glimpse of it. Okay. Yep, I think you'd be able to see it's. Yeah, I it's can side. see it yeah. now. Um, I'm kind of, we're kind of in a pickle here. 
I know we wanted to throw RJ up there, but uh, we might have to kill this thing. I think you're right. Everybody's getting wiped down. I think you're right. All right, I, uh... Gosh. Let me see here. Well, RG's not really in a position to help, but I'm just gonna start peppering this thing with shots. It's the best I can do. All right, I'm going to ready my uh, musket. All right. And I am going to... This is gonna be two to 10. I'm going to fire a firebolt out of my musket at the creature. All right, let's go ahead and roll that Firebolt Cantrip. You should be able to target the creature, and because I, I think you have line of yep. sight, should be blocked. A two up to a hit, an eight does not hit, not hit. As, as it sees the Arcan Firebolt to it, and with one of its many claws, bats it out of the air, sending it right into the cavernous rock to the side. I need better line of sight, McConnell. We might have to make our way back. I'm gonna start swimming for the other side of the shore here. I think this is, oh, <clears throat> so I can Wait. only go 30 feet. <clears throat> yeah. Hear me out, hear me out. What if whatever is up there will cause this creature to fuck off? You, listen. You think it's worth it? <laughs> you have to put your faith in the light. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, I can go ahead. And I can tell RJ what to do as long as we're just like even in the same plane of existence, basically. So you go and you take RJ and toss him up there. I'm going to get in a better position to shoot this thing. Where am I standing? On the out, like outcropping or whatever? Yeah, right where RJ is. You should be able to throw him up from there. All right, and uh, that will. Let's see, I think that's gonna be my turn. Perfect. We took one action. We got your movement to come back down. Uh, yep. I think that is a that is a solid turn. <clears throat> Dirt. You can hear some rustling from behind you. And give me a quick second. All right. You can hear something come out of the distance. You can, you can hear like footsteps going through, Ooh. and you're gonna. As you turn around a little bit, you can see that what seems to be a sentient mushroom has emerged. It points at you and says, "Quick." Quick, come over here. And it's going to end its turn as if it's beckoning to you. But you've seen one of your party members fall to the ground. You see Junior at the brink of unconsciousness. And you can see that this creature seems to be char uh, charging you guys for one, uh, one, of your party's, uh, one of your party's bodies. You're the only one left on the sh shore other than Junior that can fight. And there's someone telling you to abandon them. What would Dirt do? Oh, man. Use the spirit bomb. Oh, <laughs> well, Dirt's puffed up again. His veins are popping. He's... He's stressing. Um... He sees, he sees the downed people next to him and he's not pleased. He just saw his son of probably about two hours <laughs> get absolutely demolished by this thing. And he's not happy about it. Um, er, 
he hears what's going on behind him, but he can't take his attention off of what's in front of him. So he's going to run out and using 20, he's going to kind of move behind the creature. But as he's doing so, he's going to make special note to like stomp on the mushrooms that are here as he's coming through. <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna like like essentially just wal waltz right through them and stomp them and like uh not like a child in a puddle or anything like that but like in a way that he did to move here he didn't have to stomp them but he did anyway just to add a little bit of insult to hopefully what is about to become injury and Third is going to look at this creature and he's going to say, Get your claws off my son. Before he makes a very cool scythe attack. All right. A three up to a nine is not enough to hit, but you do have uh, the ability to make a. Um, another attack because you have the extra attack feature hmm oh god um okay so dirt obviously his his scythe attack misses uh and as it misses something kind of goes through his head and it was where this creature came from and how it came out of this wall. Yep. And so it might be in vain, but Dirt decides for his second attack, he's not going to be attacking the creature, but instead he's going to use his, bonus, his, his secondary attack, his extra attack. Yeah. And he's going to plunge the pointy end of the scythe into the wall, maybe like aiming for a crack or like maybe a, a mossy area, something like that, that looks like a little bit different than just like rock. Uh, he's just going to kind of see if anything happens when he does that. All right. Uh, you can definitely go ahead and roll an attack to uh, to punch the wall. I mean, scythe the wall. Uh, how would I do it without targeting a creature? Oh, Just yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, you should be able to make a roll without... Oh, uh, my oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and go ahead and roll critical damage as your sight uh, oh, makes... He did it! He killed the wall. You deal 14 damage as your sight uh, sinks into uh, a slight uh, little divot in the, uh, uh, in the rock wall of this cave, causing a couple of stones uh, to crumple to the ground the creature well, simply stares at you it doesn't seem to be too concerned uh, with the damage you did to the wall or to the mushrooms that you stepped on Fuck. Well, uh -oh. all right so those are two attacks you have a little bit of movement anything else that you would like to do for your turn What it's about? Dire. Ooh, ooh, okay. Um, is is Walnut like? Is he making any? Sorry, is Craig making any kind of like sound? Like, is he making a crackling like McConnell was? There's a little bit of a. You wouldn't call it quite like a. You wouldn't call it a crackle. You wouldn't call it a pop. You wouldn't call it a snap either. But it definitely seems to be some kind of a. There's something odd and very staticky about him uh, when, you, when you make contact. I see what you did there, by the way. <laughs> I definitely I hope that's heard... not copyright infringement. I'm not going to get like... I changed the order, right? I'm not going to get banned, right? Like a pop snap and a crackle. They'll contact you. <laughs> um, I definitely heard the crackling that McConnell was making, right? And it, it is vastly different from how Craig sounded, correct? Yes. They're two very, very different 
effects, yes. I'm going to bonus action druid craft. Ooh. And I'm going to make that same crackling sound, but I'm going to put it on my son, Junior. Oh, interesting. So you're going to use your memory to kind of create a tiny harmless sensory effect, which in this case is going to be as similar of a sound as you can get to uh, to the energy that's coursing in Craig's body. No, no, no. The, sorry, the, I want to do the blue one. The blue, the blue one, like the, the one that yeah, was on one McConnell. that McConnell has. Gotcha. I'm going to go ahead and have this thing just make an uh, intelligence check. It's a 15, and hmm. I don't, you don't really have a spell save DC. If I were to take the one that, if I were to just kind of calculate it based off your proficiency and based off your stuff, I think this would beat it. But tell you what, can you give me a deception check, please? Oh, shit. It's minus one, boys. You got this. Uh. Roll 20. Oh! 18 minus oh, one. Roll 20, that's close. Yes, the, uh, it, um, you get, uh, at first you can kind of feel the, like, oh, God, maybe my, uh, my illusion wasn't, uh, absolutely perfect. Uh, maybe I messed up the sound. But you also realize you've made a lot of noise by slashing your scythe at it and against the wall. You glance down, you can see some of the rocks are lying at your feet. So you quickly give it a kick, kind of to distract it. Uh, so its attention's a little bit split. It, it may do something different on its turn based off what you just did. It's pretty, uh, very interesting. And I think we pass the turn to McConnell. <clears throat> McConnell, you've seen, uh, your, uh, your ride has left you to go back down to your party. You're standing here with RJ. What you gonna do? I gather all my strength and you guys have seen Shapo, right? You guys know what that is. <laughs> Hell yeah. I get RJ. And I get him in my right hand. And I put him up, just like I'm doing a fucking Shapo right now. And I don't have a lot of room. But I do a quick twirl. And I get my momentum. And I... Fling me. RJ up to the uh, where where Rodney saw the trigger. Where he uh, yeah. where he kind of yep, felt it was. Right over there. All yep. right, you're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a, a, a twirl on this very precarious area. You're gonna get ready to put all your strength in RJ. Uh, yeah. Actually, no twirl, no twirl, no, no, <laughs> no twirl, no twirl. So now it's now it's like baseball, right? So as opposed to shot, uh, shot putting. Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't do you dirty like that. Of course, no. McConnell felt an acrobatics cool. roll coming. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. No, no, no. I, you know I would never do that based off flavor. You know I love cinematic oh, stuff. Shit. But I do right. think in order to throw something, you're going to need to make an, athle an athletics check, please. All right, sure. That's plus six. Fuck. Yes, a six up to a 12. And you're going to throw RJ... He's up. light. He's, He's light. Very light. He's, He's gonna tiny. go pretty fun up. And uh can RJ make any sounds? Uh 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 Rodney? Uh RJ hmm. From what I understand, RJ and I can magically convey to each other things telepathically, but I don't think that RJ is built to communicate verbally. All right. McConnell, you can hear a little bit of a clunk. This is a distinct sound of metal scraping against rock, followed by a plop into the water. As you see RJ come right back over the waterfall, <laughs> staring no. at you as he is plopping and is about to pass you you're gonna need to potentially try to save him but I'm just, I, yeah go ahead, go ahead but before we do that i think we're gonna take a quick ad break <laughs> what the fuck i, I missed 
owns. How did I miss the throw, boys? You're doing worse than me in this fight. Bro, but I again. <laughs> But on the bright side, uh, you do, uh, you've gotten some more information uh, with this. Uh, so you know that throwing in this exact direction is not going to be good. It seems like there's something there uh, that will uh, that will block the approach. At least yeah. didn't critically hit a wall. Yeah, RJ didn't take any damage, by the way. He's a, he's a tough little cookie. I think he's uh, he's made with uh, Rodney's like uh, amazing handiwork. I'm sure he he can handle a little bit of a little bit of abuse. Yeah, he's good. Perfect. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, so. Guys, what if I try it again, though? <laughs> never, Listen, okay, never, hear me out, hear don't me give out, up. Okay? I can't get back to the fight. Okay, there's no way. But if I scoop RJ up and I hit that nat 20 on athletics, something happens. I hope it's an avalanche of rocks. <laughs> I'm not gonna actually do like a rock falls, everyone dies type shit. That would be super fucked up. That happened? Uh, that's like it's like a meme, like where a DM is just like, I don't fucking like this. I'm just gonna kill all your characters because they're a power tripping asshole. Like, but you know that we don't do any of that kind of shit here. Yeah. yeah. Right, 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 for sure. No. Yes. Uh, as I uh, mercilessly down. Okay. No, I think you guys can still do this. You got, you guys have an ally. I give you guys, I give you an ally. There's a, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure he'll be useful. My son! Dead. Not gonna die. I'm, 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 I've put on a good enough distraction, I hope. <laughs> we might, we might actually lose two, because if I don't catch RJ, he's gonna get swept away. Burn would have won by now. <laughs> yeah. That's true, he would have roleplayed his way out of this. What would Burn do in this moment? He put on a really cool voice. He would. It was good, boys. Now, I think um, this will be interesting because I think this is the bottom of the round, which means we're going to have uh, Junior's turn before this creature goes. So there'll be... Um, it should be... Uh, yeah, definitely. This can definitely feel like a little bit of a, a dicey situation, but we still don't know what this creature does. And I think you guys... Um, are starting to see a pattern how this thing uh, is actually uh, moving. So I like the way that Dirt was thinking. I still think there's uh, things that you can do in the situation uh, to get you out of it. I look forward to seeing what you guys can do. <laughs> Speaking of what you guys can do, uh, I think we're good on the ad break in terms of time uh, to let those ads play. You guys ready to resume and see what McConnell does on his turn? Yep. All right. We are back. So last we had, uh, McConnell chucks uh, RJ, trying to get him to land somewhere to activate what seems to be a switch that Rodney found a little bit earlier when they were exploring, but unfortunately didn't get the angle correct and was able to only really hit a bunch of rock and a little bit of tumbling into water. And now RJ comes rushing down this waterfall and is about to go right past McConnell. You can glance at RJ this is pretty fast moving running water. Can you give me an acrobatics check, please? I'd say that this would be slightly at oh we already rolled. Uh that's that's okay. I would say a DC 13 is what it will take to fish him out of this fast moving water, especially because you're on some slippery rock right now. And with oh, that, no. I think a 10 is not going to save as let me just get my ruler really fast. He's already moved 20 feet. He's only going to be able to move 10 more. And of course, I didn't click on him. So we'll move him right here. And Rodney, you can see RJ in the water bobbing like a, like a little bit of a bowie as it ends the turn right kind of where you left McConnell previously as it's being carried with the water. Uh, McConnell, uh, that was just an action and kind of like a free action. You still have your movement. Uh, is there anything that you would like to do? I'll just I'll jump into the water. Oh, awesome! Uh, what are you gonna do? Um, uh, you, you, you're just gonna jump in. You're trying to like grab Archie or something? Uh, yeah. Do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll plan. jump. I'll jump at. I'll jump. I'll try to jump in front of RJ a little bit, like, like where he would be in a in a second from now. 
All right, you're going to leap into the water. If you're going to be in that towel, I can actually, I think you'd be able to grab him pretty easily without another check. Uh, just because you're, be, you're going to be super close to you if you're trying to get to right where he's going to be. Um, but remember, the water is going to carry you if you do this. There's, just, there's nothing up there for me, though. I might as well just go with the, with the flow. Oh. I'm going with the flow. All right. Uh, is, uh, that's the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn. Really. Perfect. You're able to save RJ as your first grasp uh, misses. But now that you have RJ, at the end of your turn, as it passes, the water begins to rush down in its uh, path. And it's going to move you 30 feet. You can move 20, you can move 10 right over here. You narrowly pass this rock that was a... Uh, that was uh, off to the side. If you're in running water, you may want to be very careful that you don't hit any sharp or jagged edges. But you are fairly close to your party at the moment. And we're going to pass the turn to Junior. Junior, <clears throat> Junior is only at 1 HP. And he's going to be shaking. His voice is going to be uh, shuddering a little bit. And he's going to ask to Dirt who's on the other side of this monstrous horror. What, what, what should I do? Dirt. There's a tear in his eye. Fly, you fool. Fly. Fly, you fool. At first, uh, it takes a step back. Um, it looks back at this creature that's a little bit nervous. And it's gonna take, it's gonna take a leap of faith. It's gonna need to take a, it's, it needs to get a little bit of momentum. And it doesn't have a lot of room to do it. So he's gonna just take a step forward, step forward, and he should have. Let's go take a look at. Oh, he does not have a lot of strength, but you can see him running, and he. Dirt's a very, very, very strong, like, b little barbarian. So in order, he's going to just change his form a little bit uh, to you. Just kind of bless him with a little bit of a little bit of moral support as he tries to be like the strongest person that he knows. He's going to leap up against the rock face here, and he is going to try its best to make it across the river. Uh, He's going no, to roll oh an 11. He doesn't have enough strength to do a normal long jump and cross this equally, but I do think he'd be ab able to have more than enough to jump over here and clamber onto this rock. His feet, or its feet, start to touch the ground as it's swept away, but he's barely able to hold on. He's going to be combat ineffective in this position, but there's a little bit of a risk taking that happened here. This creature did not take an attack of opportunity. I noticed that. Oh, uh, like, I saw that I too. Did. I yeah. thought I made the wrong choice and I told him to run. Okay. Remember, every little action can give you information when you're facing off a creature that is spooking you. So those little bits of RP always add up and they always matter. Junior's hanging in there, gonna be a little bit combat and operational, but Junior has gotten a little bit of distance. Seems like seems like Junior's gonna be okay. As long as McConnell doesn't run into him as he rushes oh, down the river. Fuck. But it's not McConnell's turn yet, so we're gonna be good. Keck, uh, you have one failure. Uh, could you give me another death saving throw, please? A two oh, brings you up. Good. Thank to, you, thank you so much. Yeah, two oh, failures. God. If this number reaches three, well, that's not gonna be that's not gonna be good. I'm praying for you, Hirona. <laughs> we're, gonna, so dicey. we're gonna pass don't, the don't turn to this creature. It's going to look 
at Junior, who is cracking the sound. You can definitely see dirt. His or its eyes were tracking Junior as Junior leaped across. It seems like you were onto something. It seems to be very focused on the type of magical energy around someone. So you learn something very cool, but unfortunately, it is going to grapple Craig's now unattended body. Oh, no. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh -oh. You, can, you can feel his hands reaching out to you. And Craig, you're, uncon you're unconscious, but you're kind of popping in and out a little bit. And briefly, you can feel like your consciousness comes back for just a brief moment as you can feel something tingling and sparking inside of you. Oh, no. oh you're sp yeah. a baby. <laughs> He's pregnant. <laughs> no comment. What the fuck? Um, uh, <laughs> it's, He's um, pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> Craig's gonna have a baby and it's gonna battle Junior. Craig episode. Oh I God! Him. Absolutely, uh, it's a uh, yeah. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be like the original <laughs> Alien. Oh God! Like stomach burster. Jesus Christ, guys! <laughs> you just yeah. says, all right, and that's the campaign. Yeah, it's like, you guys, we're, we're good. It's uh, but you see, um, this creature does absolutely nothing of the sort, and uh, but grabs uh, Craig's uh, uh, body and starts to drain uh, something from him. And you can see that uh, charge has left Charge's body as they sputter and snap. And the creature... No. No. ...takes one step, not leaving your range, and glances at Keck. Now, since Craig wasn't actually... You know, like he was he was unconscious. He, making a grappling check against something that's gonna succeed is just is just no fun because he's not gonna get a chance to use his acrobatics. He didn't use or it didn't use its actions at all. Which means it can still make an attack. Oh, God. It's gonna oh. glance directly at Keck, who's at two death saves. <laughs> it's gonna raise one of its claws. And it's gonna make a medicine check. The fuck? Huh. With a twenty-two, you can see its hands, like its fingers, extend, splitting up into smaller hands as they work through wounds that, well, it created. Wraps a little bit of uh, what seems to be some kind of like spider silk like thing as if it's pulling bits of its own flesh to very expertly as it rolled up to a 22 to stabilize the most serious wounds so that there's no arteries leaking any blood into the ground and into the water. Keck, you are now stable. And oh, with shit. that, it's going to take a step away. And it's about to leave your range. Dirt, would you like to take an attack of opportunity? Yeah, fuck it up. He was... Fuck he was... Up, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so, he was... Like, blocking... Like, Keck, right? Like, I... How much of that would I have seen? So, the fr you probably would have seen, based off your position... You would know that this creature did... Knock out Keck. Uh, because it wanted to get uh, to Craig's bo unconscious body. You saw it do something, and you can probably see right as it's moving. Actually, yeah, I, I really don't know how to rule this. So how about we take it to best, just the dice? I'm going to roll a percentage dice. I would say it's... um. What do you say? 40% chance you were able to see kind of exactly what was going on. Okay. I think I think that's pretty fair. I'm going to go ahead and roll a percentage dice. So if it's going to be, we'll say 
If it's over a 60, you'll be good. Or you'll have seen it. Okay. A 70, you know? So I think, uh, I think we think you're aware that this thing did stabilize Keck. Did not heal Keck, but stabilize Keck right as it was trying to leave. You have that information, but the initiative is yours. Would you like to take an attack of opportunity? Dirt sees this creature moving away from him and and he's he's fighting for his family now for his son of two hours and ten minutes <laughs> and he raises his scythe into the air yeah. he pulls it back Can't have our... did he roll a dice again? oh uh, you can do a slash roll 1d and then however like mm. you want to roll like a d6 you can do d100 if you want to do a percentage it's uh, up to you Ooh, flipping a coin he a pulls one. that scythe back and he lets it rain down on this creature not seeing that it just healed keck all right a 26 <laughs> natural 20 uh that is critical go ahead and roll critical damage yeah! oh. Oh. all right 2d12 damage you rolled up to a third you get 13 damage dealt to it as your sight sinks into its uh back as it starts to leave away from you uh, walk away from you you tear out a chunk of its flesh you can see that goopy icor uh continues to drip out it simply tilts its head back as his body is still walking forward as if to look at look at you directly despite having no eyes and it simply says fly you fools as it disappears into the rock what the fuck what the fuck and combat has ended it's my son I am absolutely confused. You have... I'm confused now. I, I don't know. There seems to be another creature that is confused and is going to be trying to run uh, to you guys. Quick, while it, while it's gone, you must you must come with me. Oh, and uh, McConnell, what are you trying to do? Because the combat's about to end, so like we're going to go out of initiative. You're going to get swamp, swamp brown. Uh, are you trying to swim? I got you. Come on, come on. Dirt we're going to drag McConnell. McConnell to the shore. Okay. Perfect. Come on. Dirt is still like really like charged up from that fight, and he's going to be like... Uh, uh, he's going to kind of relay the information over. Uh, Keck's not looking so good, but she seems to be stable. I need help over here. I need Rodney. I can't go back over. All right. So as, uh, as you guys are figuring out this fairing thing, this creature uh, is going to simply say, Get get your friends over. We'll take them to my cave. We need to get out of here before that thing comes back. He's gonna step away and he's gonna just kind of move away from you guys as he seems to go prepare something. And you can see he just kind of disappears around the corner and you hear the rattling of a door. Uh, Rodney, I'll let you guys work and figure out how but you guys can get your uh, your friends and stuff to the side of the shore and we can figure out where we're going to go from here. Rodney? Uh-oh. Rodney? Yeah. Rodney, they need help, man. Come on. All right. What are you, where are you going? I, I, look, I, I'm sick of being a... A gosh dang fairy boat, but fine. We're gonna drown. Come on. Dirt grabs Craig because he's he's smaller than Keck, and he's just making a human centipede of. <laughs> of oh God! He throws <laughs> Craig onto Rodney's back. Slash toss. Was, oh my God! There was an right. staircase. All aboard the good ship Hippo. 
uh dirt realizing that like after last time he can't really trust his wings he jumps back or he like goes back and he starts building up speed he runs over and he tries to jump across yeah yeah so what's your strength score i'm gonna grab oh uh, i don't know 16. 16 is not a problem uh with a long jump especially with a running start you can just move up to your strength uh, a score of 16 is greater than 15. you're able to clear those three squares no problem why am i rolling with advantage again oh uh because uh, you're uh the, it's the barbarian you're we have that smoldering rage while we're still in like one shot mode so even uh, for for athletics yes it is a strength whoa. based skill whoa Wait, real? Oh man, that changes so much. That's cool. Yes, it's um, as a barbarian, you can do all kinds of weird feats uh, that not a lot of other classes can. It's some pretty cool stuff. So while Rodney's uh, uh bringing Keck back uh to safety, uh, McConnell, I see you've uh, you approached someone. Uh, what uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, I I was just gonna wait for the team. Honestly. Oh, perfect. I'm 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 looking back at them. I'm looking back. Uh, realizing that Rodney probably has Keck, uh, Dirt is gonna grab Craig by his leg again and just drag him on his back. He's starting to kind of like right, calm on, down, Keck. too. All right, come Rodney's on, Craig. Grab Keck on his back and sort of waddle across the water. Dirt's gonna drag Craig over to this thing and be like, hey, listen, these guys need help. Of, of course they need help. Uh, I can Ronnie's see them bleeding. Grab Keck and continue carrying her, her body. What the, what the fuck? Drags Craig inside. Come. Come, it is my humble abode. Your hey, humble was... abode has fucking dead bodies in it. Well. This was here the whole time. Well. I mean, they were my friends. I'm gonna put down Keck's body on this, like, table-looking thing in the center. I was gonna throw Craig up there. I drags Craig over to the Pile bed. On. <laughs> Perfect. Rips Craig's uh, uh, Craig's leg over and throws him onto the bed. He will. Uh, he kind of went there and he just like kind of shuts the door a little bit. But he does tell you, "I'll close the door to keep us safe." There is. There is no one with. There is no one with the charge. This is good. You you can rest here, but what are you doing here? We came here on a mission. Mission? You can see its yes. eyes a blink, not in synchrony, but almost out of order, as if it has a little bit of trouble using them. What mission? looking for I look back at my party uh Dirt's just focused on his his son Junior Dirt we're looking for a uh, giant mush no mushroom 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 yeah like Bigger than me. Way bigger. Way bigger. Huge. Mushroom people. Like ten times your size. Oh. Oh, what? Huge. And, they're they're uh, just going to reiterate. Huge. A dragon. Dragon. Oh, a, a dragon. A slug. A <laughs> dragon. Oh, a dragon slug? Have you eaten uh, mushrooms? Yes, but that's not... Listen, what I'm telling you is the truth. Okay. Let's take a kind of a step... Take a step back away from you. If you are looking for mushroom people bigger than me, there are many down here. There is a big city that... I would like to go back to one, one day. But 
I cannot, as he kind of glances at the ground, looking back up at you sadly, his one of his seven eyes glistening with what seems to be tears. I cannot go back. They have ruined me. I'm gonna start looking at uh, at Keck and at, at Rodney. His glance at, at your other guys. He's, gonna, he's just gonna say, "You will need to rest. If you can help me get out of here, I will share with you anything I know." But and, hmm? oh yeah, as he says that, I'm gonna take my backpack. And I'll pull out the crystal slash fungus heart. Ooh. You guys forgot I had that shit, didn't Ooh. you? You guys forgot Ooh. I had that shit. That's I, you guys forgot, didn't you? Uh -oh. I didn't forget. Yeah. Yeah, where did you? Uh, where did you get this? I totally forgot. No, I don't. I got it out of the fucking. Uh, I out of the chest, didn't I? We pulled it out of that first creature. Oh, was it the first creature? So, I can't remember the creature we fought. Wait, wait wasn't it the fucking big ass motherfucker that that tried to kill us in the corridor? I can't remember. <laughs> it's been Fuck. so long. <laughs> Bro, I've been behind so long. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's good. It's good. No, it's uh, it is that it is that boss creature that you guys fought in the past. It was a terrifying fight where McConnell, you nearly died. Uh, but yeah. uh, you did also get the first proc on the loot because you were the closest to that creature and you were able to draw out what seems to be its heart. Oh, and what were you uh, What were you trying to uh, uh, tell this guy that? So he said, uh, help me get out. And I said, or I'll, as he says that, I'm pulling over my backpack and I pull out the heart and I ask him, will this help? He glances at it. His uh, eyes are blinking, and he starts to get a little bit excited. It's like this. This is an experiment. This is like me. This is like him. And this is like him. Where did you find this? We came into contact with a m absolutely massive creature. Uh, and it, it zapped us. And it, some of us had charges on us. We were crackling, and it exploded the crackles and hurt my party members. Oh, it is the two charges. I will share with you as I know, as we tend to your friends. I would like to hear what they say as well. So he's going to start uh, helping out uh, Keck, and he's going to help Craig. Soon you guys are going to be at 1 HP, but before that happens, uh, he's going to mention uh, a, a, a couple of things. And we're just going to go quickly because, you know, like, we don't need to actually like role play like eight hours of conversation, right? One, you guys are very, very, very lucky. The faceless creature, that thing that you fought, it seeks those with the orange charge. It leaves those with the blue charge alone. That is how I survived. I would go down just across the river and down. There are some crystals that I would create to help gather its charge. Keck, you are at 1 HP. Woo! So you are now back uh, back to life. You're no longer unconscious. That's all right. He's going to uh, help. And... Yeah, go sorry. ahead. I was going to say, because if he just said this, uh, Dirt, who is currently holding his son, is going to remember that in his pocket is a pile of those blue crystals. So he's going to show us poop again. <laughs> <laughs> Can this help go, us? It's kind of like reach into his little his dungeoneer's pack or his rucksack or whatever he's got and like palm those crystals and he's going to hand them over to Cray or to Junior and he's going to say, hey, like whispering, like, keep these safe. And he's going to make like Junior take them. 
Perfect. All right. So Junior now has the power blue crystals. Mm. Perfect. 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 Uh, this. Uh, uh, so Keck, you're now. Uh, you've now kind of come back to life. You're. Uh, uh, you're alive and well again. The this mushroom uh, person uh, continues to talk as he starts to uh, patch up Craig's wound, pulling out some salves from uh, this little cupboard over here, and tearing out some of the own tendrils that are coming out of them and mixing it with it, creating some makeshift potions uh, to try to heal and uh, and solve Craig's uh, a pretty serious bludgeoning wounds from that giant rock. He's going to say, the thing I've seen, it grows stronger and stronger. Do not get close to it if you have the orange charge. I do not understand what it does, but it did not always have so many claws. It kills beasts. And it takes from them a little bit of their essence, and it grows stronger. I have not been hunted because I did not have the charge, but that is not to say the same for my goblin human friend. He kind of looks at the corpse sadly before sitting down and saying, I will need to investigate that thing that you brought. It will take me time, but you should rest. Gather your strength because that thing will be waiting for you. Would you guys like to take a long rest here? Please, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Please, yeah. God, yes. Please All right. Not. Oh. Craig yes. has no interest. He just woke up from a wrong. I have too many things to do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, stay at one HP and no spells. That'll be good. Uh, <laughs> that'll be perfectly fine. Uh, but so the way long rests work is that uh, you just simply have to click on your character uh, sheet, and um, it'll automatically increment your hit dice, which is what you use during a short rest to get like a little boost of HP, uh, and it'll also fully recover your HP and any resources such as spells uh. that recharge at a long rest. Uh, oh one God. critical thing is new day. Yep, Long it's a rest. Yep, it is a new day. You are able, Beep. you are able to uh, chill here and sleep and uh, and hang out. Uh, don't worry about figuring out rotations uh, for like um, like watching this area. This guy uh, will help you, and you guys can figure that out. So don't worry about it. We're not gonna role play that. Just uh, not a good use of time. Uh, but you guys will be at full HP. Uh, remember, when you are exploring in D&D, being able to go to a town or even having a camp to rest is definitely a luxury in more dangerous areas. Seeing that you guys... See, seems like you guys are being hunted by something. It seems like finding small areas where you can take a good... get a good night's sleep are going to be few and far in between and are going to be very, very important. It seems like this guy had a, has a little home for you guys to stay in. Uh, and uh, on that note, I see. Ev I think everyone's recovered their stuff. Yep, I see. Yes, you guys have all your spell slots back. You guys have all your HP back because 5e is a very forgiving system. And throughout the night, you guys have the opportunity to talk to this mushroom person who reveals his name to be Shrug. That should not be shown. Perfect. Anything that you would like to ask him while he works on the bit of loot that McConnell handed out? Um. I have a question. Oh, go ahead. I want to know, I want to see, I want to ask him if he knows anything about the experiments. Um, <clears throat> hey, like, when we were on our way here, we saw, like, it looked like an experiment or something. Like, what the hell is going on with that? See, uh, Shrug uh, shudders a little bit uh, at the word experiment and the nods. Yes, there is something very scary happening deep down in the dark. I 
myself have been experimented on. It says sadly, looking at, and he just kind of points at his eyes. They mixed me with a spider. Gross. I can do everything a spider can. As he just climbs up on the walls, just kind of backwards while facing you, still making eye contact. If we're going up and they're just like kind of falling back down. It is quite disconcerting, to be completely honest. But because of that, I don't know how I can ever show my face to my tribe. Is there anything else that you uh, wanted to ask uh, in continuation, Dirt? Uh, I'm going to say no, and I'm, I'm even going to explain why out of character, because I don't want to tell them that Junior is like one of the experiments. Mm, very clever. I don't know. Dirt doesn't feel comfortable telling him about that. that this guy really might think that... Want tell him. <laughs> I want to blurt oh it out God. on Craig. <laughs> Okay, so we got so Dirk got one question in. Does anyone else have anything they'd like to ask? Shrug. Why don't you just like cover up your face or whatever and go back? And it's not just my face, friend. Yeah, all right. Look, your friend. I'm I'm covered with uh with goop. Venomous, yeah. venomous goop. Yeah, my right. claws are larger. I'm an abomination. Yeah. And look what happened to my friend here. You he killed is, him? He is half goblin. Wait, what the hell? Look at him. They mix oh, the yeah. goblin and a and a human man. That don't sound right uh. to me. That don't sound right to me. Whoa, 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 Craig, 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 Craig. What the hell? Craig. <clears throat> Craig. What kind of goblin human hybrid is this guy? What the hell? It's a fake goblin. Take it easy. You know I don't like fake goblins, McConnell. Take it easy, Craig. I'm Go taking lay down. it easy. Go lay down. You've been knocked out for gross. a goddamn hour and a half. It's gross. Go lay fucking back down. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <clears throat> this was also my friend. He was a, a, a paladin. I'm going to move the body a little bit forward and prop it up against one of the... One of the, uh... One of the boxes. But... As you can see, they turned him into an undead. Wait, he was the butter lady? He was Paula Dean? No. Oh my god. You know, <laughs> of all the ways you could have described her, the butter lady is probably the best. That's... Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> That's pretty good. Rodney's gonna take RJ aside out of... Out of... It's not fully out of earshot, like he's intentionally kind of speaking a little bit too loud. He's just gonna say, CRJ, look over there. Dead goblin, dead paladin. That's why us engineers will always survive and outlast these clowns. <laughs> Alright, good stuff, guys. Well done, really. I, uh. <laughs> I. <laughs> I ask Shrug. If he would like me to consecrate the remains of the dead paladin. Wait, you're going to do what? Consecrate. Oh, I, there's another word that sounds similar. I was worried. <laughs> it, he's going to look at you like, I do not know much of the customs of the paladin, but if you know what to do for this friend, well, I hope it brings peace. Can take a step away and let you do your thing. <sighs> All right, seems like he's gonna do a little bit of a prayer uh, for this body. Anyone else have any questions while McCollum does this little paladin ritual? What did I miss? Uh, McConnell's in there doing stuff with dead people. By the way, I'm basically in a trance right now. I cannot hear anything. He's, a <clears throat> right. He's doing something with that corpse over there, but I'm kind of letting it go. Uh, okay. Because of the nature check the dirt made earlier on the mushrooms, like trying to find out if maybe they could be used to 
like stabilize or heal Craig. Um, I think he realized that like the crystals and the mushrooms had like a similarness to the to, they were very close to each other. Uh, so, uh, hey, what? Well, listen, while I was doing the, while I was, I was looking at some of the mushrooms earlier, uh, just trying to see if any were tasty. I actually found a tasty one that I picked up. It's somewhere in my backpack. <clears throat> it's somewhere in my backpack. Okay, so uh, can rifle through it. I ain't doing that. Yeah, somebody should really grab that. It, it almost. It almost seemed like the mushrooms and the crystals were very similar. What? What's that about? Ah, uh, yes. They took some of my kind and used them to create the network. Thank you, Van. Now the rock grows. So we can see that when he <gasps> said that, he sounded a little bit angry. Now, he's going to give you a little bit more information, but we're not going to do this uh, as like as him just ranting a whole bunch of stuff out. I'm going to give you the bullet list. Ooh. It seems like a lot of his kind were captured, torn apart, kept alive, and mixed into what seems to be some kind of spikes that were eventually dug into the ground. They were connected to some other type of magical ore which is used as kind of like an ignition sequence causing them to be infused into the rock after that this new hybrid magical experimental creature eventually became the network and started turning the raw bits of magical ore into something a lot more refined which ultimately gave rise to these crystals but it also gave rise to the charge that you're seeing. And Shrug explains that this charge is starting to wreak havoc among this entire ecosystem. Because this type of thing never existed before, but if in contact with this magical energy that's being extracted from the ground of these caves itself, it permanently sticks with creatures and it may change them over time if it's not dispelled. But some creatures have learned to use the charge to their advantage as they slowly mutate due to the magical energy. Shrug is very upset about this because, well, you'd probably be pretty upset too if someone mixed you with a spider. The charges can be beneficial but they can also be harmful and they can interact with a lot of things down in these caves. You'd best exercise a little bit of caution when around anything that has something to do with charge. But, well, hey, fortune favors the bold. And that'll be the result of your conversation as Shrug spends almost an hour detailing horrifying stories about what happened to him. But, curiously doesn't seem to know anything about his captors. Excellent. Um, any other questions that you guys are going to ask him during your long rest? Not for me. I just want to know what he thinks about the, uh, the heart. Oh, perfect. Yep. That'll be the last thing that's revealed as he kind of goes back and, um, uh, and, uh, and just kind of plays a little, little, little Rubik's Cube, so to speak. Anybody, mm -hmm. anybody want to ask him about the map or the chest? Hey, or... hey, just, I, I just want to check. Uh, you're, you're real, right? This isn't just like a bad trip because we were eating all kinds of shrooms earlier. Some <laughs> of them were even moving like they were intelligent or something. I don't know. But oh, they tasted all right, not great. Oh, the purple ones. Yeah. Yeah, they're quite delicious, aren't they? Uh, oh, it it was all right, uh, kind of, I guess. Did I just hear a thank God? I thought we were. I thought this guy was about to kick us out of his house. Yeah, you, ain't my, right. you ain't my son. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> yeah, so they're okay. You know, each their own. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do need to eat. It is unfortunate. These these changes that have been done to me have made me a lot more ravenous. 
I do not eat. I cannot survive. Sometimes I've had to take a bite out of my friend. Oh, well, don't eat Craig, because, uh, you know, I know he's also a goblin, but what the fuck we kind of need him. He's good with a stick. What? I, no, you mean your friend here? No, I would not eat him unless he's dead. Oh, okay. Oh, you only eat dead stuff. All right. Yes. I think you guys oh. call it scavenging. You dodged a bullet on that one, Keck. What? I think this guy's saying he was going to eat you. That would be a bad idea. Well, yeah, I think, yeah. it tastes like Play-Doh. Oh, <laughs> all right. I want to I wanna know about the thing that was on top of the cliff that you guys are going to get yeah, to. Yeah, the trigger but and Keck all that. But Keck didn't see it, doesn't know about it, and has no clue. Mm -hmm. And then uh, is the chest, was that a part of it? Like, I, there's things that I, I'm curious about, but, like... <laughs> I don't know about the it. So was I'm just like, yeah. just sitting here I mean, knows you know, as much do as Craig sort of does. We around where like, you know, people that are in comas kind of pick up on stuff. Yeah, I mean, you guys are also in a long rest. You guys can totally share information. So we can say that Keck is definitely caught up if you guys are willingly sharing it. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely would have ribbed McConnell about his throwing arm no less than like six different times. <laughs> so you probably okay. would have been like, what, what are you making fun of McConnell for? And then we would have explained how he limp wristed. <laughs> Well, that's RJ the part bro. you're gonna make fun of him, not the crystal. That's the next response. <laughs> that's the the thing that you that you're gonna point out. Yeah. <laughs> but knowing that McConnell can't say anything back because he's in a trance. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, uh. Excellent. Um, so Keck, you are yeah. caught up. Uh, Keck wants to know about the chest. V, the, the chest. But not the chest, what, whatever was going on on the, uh, further down the river where uh, McConnell was trying to throw uh, uh, RJ. Uh, and just, um, and just start kind of throwing with her, yes. Yeah. Okay. So Shrug will say, honestly, it seems, I'm not entirely sure, but if you say there's something up there, I will definitely believe you because I can see some trails and some marks. There is definitely a way to get up that waterfall because someone has done it. A bunch of people have done it. The footprints look familiar, like my people. It seems like a troop of myconids have been here. So it looks like there is one thing that you would need to solve. Um, that's a good question. Anything else for you guys' long rest? What are the Mykonids? Oh, Mykonids are the mushroom people. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that carried all that amazing loot that you guys were following initially uh, to um, yeah. uh, to get more of that loot, perhaps. Oh, um... We, we asked him if he knows what the, the truffle dragon is, right? Ah, yeah, he... The, the slug and dragon, and I'm assuming other conversation, seems like he would be uh, completely confused, but he will say, "Oh, a slug and a dragon." Um, yeah. That I, that sound that could is that an experiment? Do they mix a slug and a dragon? Well, in that case, I wouldn't know. And well, the only one left here is mm -hmm. dead, and dead people do not speak secrets. Keck glances and says, "Well, I can speak with the." <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah, that <laughs> is right. Nice <laughs> yeah. Men, people. Interesting. Yes, if you <laughs> think, and yeah, this is out of combat, so you can just you can just cast it if you would like. I think, do you actually have it? Yeah, yeah. just try to use it on Craig. Yeah, you do have, uh, yeah, you do have Speak With Dead. Um, yeah, in 10 minutes, and are you you're targeting this, uh... Um... I can't select them. Oh, yeah, don't don't worry about it. Yeah, you, the you paladin yeah, yeah, or the, the goblin? The little green goblin the with little the little sword. Goblin, perfect. You take 10 minutes uh, while McConnell's deep in a trance uh, <laughs> uh, sanctifying the other body. 
Uh, and um, yes, ten minutes are gonna uh, last. Where you can see uh, Shrug is like uh, like rocking side to side. Shrug is very very excited, almost like a kid waiting for dinner. Uh, and with a little bit of dark necrotic energy, you can see that the uh, the body, which is partially decomposed but still in pretty good shape, begins to gasp and then slowly breathe with a little bit of a mimicry of life. You'll be able to ask this corpse up to five questions, but the question it answers may not be particularly useful because it cannot say too much. But what would you like to ask the body? Um. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just using one of the questions. <laughs> Just instantly burn it up. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, shit. It's like a, it's like an eight ball, right? I know. <laughs> Gonna ask the questions carefully. Don't mess this up for us. Don't, don't waste them. Don't waste. This should be important. Don't, don't you dare mess this up for us. Don't, don't do this to me. I don't want to don't ask him. Don't fuck this. <laughs> we gotta figure out if this guy actually was this guy's friend or if he's just eating people down oh, here. We can yeah. be oh, yeah. Okay, uh, I'll ask the goblin. Isn't the spider mushroom your friend? It's a deep breath and exhales. Yes. Dear friend. Okay. Good. Did we ask him if he's been experimented on? You can definitely see that this isn't or no, is normally, it obvious. It's obvious that he's been experimented on, but you only heard Shrug say half human man, half goblin. But that's really all that Shrug seemed to have say, or even really he knew about it. Didn't we see, like, we saw goblin corpses in, like, a different chamber when we were first coming into this cave, right? Yeah, there was that, definitely there a was lot like of corpses. A, yep. The goblin corpses and the mushroom people. You guys How, died. Uh, How did you die? Takes a deep breath and exhales. Faceless thing took charge. Okay. He has two questions. He got three left. Could I ask him why he was here, down here? Okay. Why were you down in the cave? Takes a deep breath and exhales. Fat loot. Oh my god. <laughs> True. Uh, Shit. Dude. You would get along with my friend. <laughs> Slash me daps up the goblin corpse. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to ask him. Um, the uh, the uh, shrug raises his hands and says, "I do not know, I do not know the limits of your magic. I do not know how many questions, but if I may have." Just one. Would would that be okay? Okay. <laughs> he's going to uh, he's just going to turn and just kneel by uh, the body, <gasps> and he's going to say, <gasps> "When they mixed you, did you suffer?" He's going to take a breath. And it's going to exhale deeply, 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 deeply. And it's going to keep repeating that as Shrug picks up the corpse and hugs it as Shrug begins to cry. You still have one question left.
can I ask how to put him to peace? At peace. How do we put you in peace? The corpse inhales and exhales and says, Save my friend. Do not waste food. And with one last breath and a little bit of a like a small spasm, the breath leaves the corpse. And this mimicry of life has come to an end. You hear that, guys? You gotta eat all your dinner. We gotta eat the goblin body. We can't let it go to waste. Expecting dirt to start eating poop. <laughs> <laughs> you were when you said. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Got some interesting information uh, with your uh, speak with dead. That was a pretty clutch cast. Unfortunately, won't be able to recast it on this target as uh, it's got to be. Uh, it can only be used once every ten days on a specific corpse. I hope there's not anyone else that's dead that we needed to talk to. Yeah. Oh, remember, you. Uh, so one thing about your character, normally speak with dead, is going to be a, um, is going to be a, what am I trying to say? Uh, your character does not have to spend spell slots to use speak with dead. Right. Normally it is a level three spell, but mm -hmm. your character is very deeply, deeply connected with death in your backstory. So as a result, we kind of gave you this as a ritual cast that you can only really do out of combat. So you won't be able to use it on this corpse again for the next 10 days. But if you find okay. any other corpses and you're out of combat and you have some time, you can always use it uh, to try to get it to say something. Got it. Yeah, if only we had another corpse. Man, where are we going to get another corpse at? I don't know. Guys, look over there. We can make another looks one. At, looks at Craig. Mary. He just stab shrug. <laughs> we're going to make another one. <gasps> okay, Craig, Craig looks at the skeleton. <laughs> are you sure you want to do this? You're in a trance. Shut up. Ah, what kind of fucking over. role play is this? <laughs> hey, give, it a, give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. He's praying over the butter lady. Give it a whirl. All right, yeah. Uh, I'm speaking with Dan again. All right. We spent Everybody. 10 minutes performing the ritual as McConnell is in a trance next to the body. Nope. <laughs> I sense the dark oh. magics of your <laughs> trying to speak with the dead. Oh, no. As you're trying to commune with the dead, I snap out of it. I'm still communing. Still communing. <laughs> I walk over. <laughs> oh, no. You sure you want to keep trying? Looks through my call. He's over here. So Craig, what are you doing? Craig also tries to speak with the dead. <laughs> Craig, won't. Craig, won't you back up? I should go. I'm trying. Even to Craig, a professional, I do this all of the time. Listen, I ignored it. Okay, you did what you did with the goblin, but you're gonna leave the paladin. Alone. We're going to help them. Be at rest. Yeah, why you gotta be lame? Don't I be am yourself. helping him. You ain't doing shit. Well, my friend, whose name I will never know, because I just didn't think fast enough, <laughs> did say not to waste food. If you can do that magic again, I am for it. And I think we're going to take a quick ad break. 
BRB. Go ahead, pause the game. Uh, but we can still talk and just meta around it uh, because mm -hmm. there is... Um... Yeah, you guys <clears throat> are able to take... Uh, you guys did take the long rest and we'll say that Keck used that for... Like, this is all happening before you guys actually turn in and take like rotations for sleep. Uh, Keck, you can use the Speak With Dead like free ritual once per short rest or long rest like you need to rest a little bit before you can do it again so you'll have the ability to cast okay. it if you would like but uh it seems like mcconnell does not want you uh to uh rouse this uh this paladin from the uh from the dead well, he seems to want to give it a give it a little bit of rest hmm hmm what if this one has all the answers Do I respect McConnell and really care what he thinks? <laughs> That's... Mean, listen, yeah. listen, Riku 100% will... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he'll allow PvP, so... We can push this as far as you want to push it. Says the oh, paladin. No. <laughs> yep. And remember... Let me translate that for you. Yep. If you want to step to me, I will gladly divine smite you into oblivion, peasant. Look, it's me, your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I would obviously. That's what McConnell really does. the dead palace. <laughs> and then I'll say, "Oh well, maybe you can ask yourself after uh, after I slay you." True. <laughs> Look at that, and, and do remember, um, remember I say at the very beginning, you control everything about your characters. I do not step into player versus player uh, conflict, but at the same time, uh, you decide the roles. Like combat's obviously done by the rules of the game because that's fair. Uh, but for example, if you decide, if you if your character wouldn't know what to do in that situation, you can always ask for like, you know what? You roll a persuasion, I'll come up with a number and I'll go with it. I won't step <gasps> into that. So you get to be a DM yourself, like uh, when it comes to your character. Okay. I have an insane amount of points in persuasion. Can I persuade McConnell? You can, but... Persuade Mc... McConnell does commit seppuku. <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many do you have in persuasion? I dare you to kiss the skeleton. <laughs> I have nine. You're nine against my six. But remember, McConnell, if this is something your character simply would never agree to, and this is in your backstory, you don't need to honor uh, the persuasion. It can simply, like, for example, if you were trying to persuade the king of a nation to be like, yeah. hey, could I just become king myself? That'd be kind of cool. They're gonna be like, no. Uh, like, maybe for per persuasions high, they're not gonna, like, try to get you stabbed by the guards for treason. Uh, so if you feel like it's against a, a character line, uh, that's a perfectly okay. Like, you're, you're just like, no, I'm not gonna listen to you. I wanna, I wanna get this paladin off the piece. But if your character would have doubts, that could be a very interesting way for you to say, like, you know what, if you roll above a 25 or a 20 or any number you come up with, that could be a very interesting way to show your characters, like, uh, like, uneasiness but also potential flexibility because this may not be a ten a core tenet of your paladin or that like you feel like you need to upheld so there's many ways to weave player versus player conflict into into rp i feel Did all right hit a not hit yeah. a not 20 on persuasion oh Damn. dude that'd be nuts all right i'm gonna and, try oh it. and we are and on that note i think we're done with the ad break in terms of time so i'm gonna resume <laughs> and uh we're going to see if keck <laughs> Who has turned into? I just noticed this. Keck has turned into <laughs> uh, this skeleton with uh, his changeling forms. Uh, uh, the a shrug is, jumps up in excitement. Uh, doesn't seem to be scared, but seems uh -oh. to be very impressed uh, with Keck's magical abilities. One, uh, speaking with um, uh, his dead friend, allowing him to find a little bit of closure, and two, mimicking other bodies. Oh man, that's a uh, that's amazing. Uh, with a creature like this that can also change forms and have so many great magical abilities. Perhaps there's hope yet. Uh, so Shrug will like excitedly squeal and like shudder uh, happily and stuff. And Keck, uh, remember, you're going to have to try to persuade McConnell so you can't let Dice do all the talking. Go ahead and try to make your best case and then we'll roll the dice and McConnell will decide whether or not it is enough. I will stay completely out of it. Okay. Um begins to explain how that if we are successful in this mission and that 
speaking with this paladin and understanding what they understand will have a better chance of success that their soul will also be able to lay to rest and we can also speak with him and be able to communicate any last things that he wanted to say to his friend before they died. I would, in return, convey the importance of allowing the dead to rest, how egregious it can be to interact with the dead on any level, um, like, like trying to bring them back, uh, and especially a paladin who I share the same faith with, that I would never allow that to happen. <laughs> Okay, oh. Keck mm-hmm. reminds McConnell that his ideas are pretty stupid <laughs> and reminds him about the fucking crystal and how he basically almost killed all of us and that his morals are very fucked up. I would say that uh, my this bad is- ideas have nothing to do with my moral system and that regardless of her name calling me, <laughs> I am not going to uh, stoop to uh, Keck's level in any sort of way and I remain steadfast in my uh, me saying no to <laughs> speaking with the dead I guess uh, if uh, are you going to allow her to roll or are her arguments done We can I read do the Bible love myself together a good afterwards. Roll. I, I love myself a good roll. If you hit the nat 20, and then you say something pretty good afterwards, I'll, I'll let you. Pretty pretty good about what? Well, just, you know, persuade me. How bad do you want it? <clears throat> okay. All right, let me, let me roll this. All right. Easy, nat 20. Let's see, 5% chance. Let's go see how this goes. That is not a natural 20. It was a Almost 7 so. plus uh, up to a 16. Plus 9 is a huge modifier. Seems like uh, McConnell will not be dissuaded. Is it Tech possible... never shows emotion is just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> is it possible to use the one of secrets without anyone knowing, or is it just like so obvious? That's a great question. I think mm. using it like actually activating it you can probably do stealthily with a slate of hand check uh, but once the effect goes off probably everyone in the region is gonna know okay uh, i mean you could just lie to him it. too and tell him you're fucking oh. yeah but i don't know i mean uh, i was thinking rodney might try to jack this guy's shit but i don't think rodney's stupid well, enough to i was thinking to try to do it in front of him he has like some secret way back there to get back to the the waterfall. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But also, Riku did say that he said in earnest that he doesn't know what's back there or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know? But I know there's. Like, <coughs> yes, yes. It does seem like there is a puzzle that you do need to solve <clears throat> to get up to that waterfall. Oh, we're rested. That is true. True. And, true. and right before you guys are going to be ready to head out, uh, I'm assuming like this guy is just going to get consecrated by McConnell as you guys rest, and the, it'll be the bad vibes will leave the corpse by morning. Uh, so your paladin, will, your paladin, your unknown paladin friend uh, will be been consecrated and laid to rest by the end of it. Which means can I mm-hmm. can I check him for anything like any any. I'm not trying to loot box him, but I am going to check for, like, any belongings or anything like that real quick. So you're you're checking for loot? I'm checking for loot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, go I, ahead and roll. And, and... Is so noble. But, okay, but not, but not in a bad... <laughs> listen, listen. I'm not doing this in, like, a... Hey, give, me, give me some loot! <laughs> okay, I'm not, it's not like that. It's more like, I'm just checking him over, just... Making sure that it's 
he's okay, or you know, it doesn't have like a letter to a loved one or something like that. Okay. <laughs> Someone remind me to like go to the raw audio that we're getting on the server, clip that specific bit, and add it to like a soundboard. <laughs> Just say investigation, fucker. <laughs> I'll see if maybe he's got like a magical ring or like you know, kind like of a tome. Magic or like a sword. Yeah, no, no, go, go ahead. Possibly and roll a an weapon. Investigation check. What kind of helm is that? A fifteen. So um, we're about to find out. As you're uh, consecrating the body, uh, obviously, uh, uh, Shrug doesn't seem to understand exactly what's happening. Shrug is not a paladin. He's a half mushroom, half spider. Not gonna know much about it. So you basically have kind of free reign as you do this ritual, and during that time you make it just very clear, you know, like, I mean, you heard the other corpse say, don't waste food, and you're not really going to eat any bones, so you're not going to chew on them like a dog or anything, uh, but you are going to look to see if there's anything useful. The armor has been pretty heavily damaged, probably wouldn't be worth trying to salvage. The helmet's in a pretty decent shape if you kind of clean off the rust maybe you could kind of use it as a little like a makeshift cooking pot if you needed to brew any more uh of that uh of that tea uh, from other stuff could be a useful a very useful scavenge because it's pretty sturdy and it's not likely to leak on the person though you can't find any letters or any ornaments or anything of sentimental value but you can find an insignia can you give me a religion or a history check, please? Yes, dude. Finally. <laughs> All right. Come on. Religion, please don't fucking let me down here. Come on. Come on. A 15 Ooh. down to a 14. No one else in this room would be able to know this because the paladins... Wherever they are from, usually have orders and they have secrets. Now, your Asimar is from a country called Cyrosa, I believe. Far, far from the west, the southwest of this country, of this, uh, of this, uh, of this continent. Paladins were, they originated from the northeast, so that's a pretty far away. And for the longest time, Sarosa was a bitter enemy of Liveria, the theocracy that originated paladins. But you've searched for insignias left and right, and usually you find yourself just being kind of cross-eyed and confused at them because they're very often from Liveria. But this one you do recognize. This was a paladin from Cyrosa. Now, Cyrosan paladins tend to veer a little bit closer to chaos. While they do have oats, they're not as beholden to it as a lot of their paladin counterparts in Liveria are. They, it's not so much greatness at any cost and be willing to sacrifice the weak and the helpless in order to gain power. That would be fucking evil. But rather, if a rule does not serve them in the moment, they are willing to disregard it in exchange for doing better. Because while the law among people can define a set of rules to avoid society from falling into chaos, they believe that they are responsible for a divine law. They do not believe in the goddess of Esther, which is the common goddess of the Liberian theocracy, but they do believe that she was a powerful figure in history and she had an unmistakable and permanent effect on the world. It's venerance. Uh, there's very, very, uh, there's a lot of respect there, but they focus a lot deeper on what they can do in any given moment. You're very, very far away from Cyrosa. This paladin must have crossed the entire continent, faced all kinds of terrifying things and survived to come here to do something but was ultimately dragged underground by something far more powerful there may have been a party and an even even a troop of them because in Cyrosa most paladins do not travel alone because while they may have a chaotic leaning they usually seek the counsel of their friends 
to figure out what is the best thing to do in any moment. There may be more paladins like this deeper down, but Jeez. what happened to this paladin's power? Well, you're not sure. As for what is the specific tribe or group or order, unfortunately with the 14, I won't be able to tell you anymore. Fuck! And I won't be able to tell you more about this paladin's ability because Cyrus and the Cyrus and Paladins have a very, very different set of abilities. Sometimes slightly different smites to augment uh, augment their core radiant damage. But unfortunately, I can't give you any, any, any more information today. All right, I'll... Uh... All right, I'll... Since we didn't do the speak to dead, I will convey that information to the rest of the party. All right. But mm -hmm. I look at Keck very sternly as I'm explaining what I heard or what not well what I know. Okay. Okay, Keck. <laughs> That's so good. And there is one thing I wanted to ask Shrug before we uh, set out. Yes. I reach into my backpack again and I get out the. Wait, so was there any po any of that tea left? Could I have him look at the tea, whatever was left? There's probably said... there's a little bit left, yeah. Okay, I would like him to examine the tea. Mushroom tea. Mmm. Yes, he's gonna kind of look. He's gonna he's gonna dip his finger in it uh, very quickly before realizing it's not dangerous and he's gonna kind of dab on it a little bit more and just uh just taste it. He's gonna say, "Oh, this is the this is the blue charge." This crackles. Yes. It, it, what, what? You made this 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 tea? You say? You made it for not a me. reason. Not me. Oh. Kek did. oh. Ah, the magician. The magi magician did. Oh, powerful what? magician. Why? Uh, why did you create this tea? We were trying to understand what the different colors did. Oh. The blue mushrooms that you speak of are part of the network. There are orange ones too, but they are difficult to find here. If you want, if we can well, make it back to a safer place, perhaps even to my original home, I am sure we can help distill these a lot better. We are quite proficient in making things out of what we find in these caves. This tea that you created is simply weak. It is not potent. We can make much something much, much stronger. But this particular one, what it would do is grant you some of the blue charge. It may keep away that faceless monster but it may attract other horrors. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But, 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 <clears throat> I have looked at this, uh, this, this heart that you said. Yes. I can share with you my findings. Please do. This heart. You said you found this in a large mass of crystals, correct? Correct. When it hit you, did it take the charge? I think it did. I think, I think the orange it did. one yeah, didn't. Take it? Yeah, I think that's what I mean by it. Like, it exploded the charge. Yeah. Yes. It, no, it took it because it, it like it was like a. The kids call it like a buff transfer. Yes. 
Some that is not the only creature like it, but this one was definitely constructed as a guardian. There are others like it down below. You must be careful, but now that you know what you're looking for, well, perhaps there will be no surprises. But one thing I can say, if you have any of the orange charge, it will be very dangerous to face it off. But if you have the blue charge, it'll be a lot easier because it was made of the same blue crystals, was it not? Yeah, it was. I do not know if you have, what else you have seen up there, but do remember, there are orange versions of that one as well. As for this heart, at its core, I've seen something similar to it deep down below before the disaster and before we all escaped. This is a converter. Hmm. With some more work on this, we may be able to use this to transfer charge from one of you to another safely. Because remember, unless you are already somewhat fucked like me, you don't want to be holding on to a charge for any longer than you have to. So sharing the burden like friends, maybe the best way to survive down here. But I do not have the tools necessary to do this today. But even if I cannot do this, the Mycanid Elder, if you, if you ever meet a mushroom person, a large venerable mushroom person, his name is Grub Grub, he will help you. Wait, didn't we meet? Yeah, did we, yeah, we meet? met. We did. Yes. We met him. And you we guys, know him. yep. You guys do know uh, that is actually one of the people you are tracking down here in this uh, dungeon because you wanted more loot. That's not the big guy. Is that the big guy? That's the. Uh, that's the. That's the. That's the. That's that's, that's the big guy. Uh, he. Oh. Uh, he seems to be. He was the one that was. Uh, that you guys were tracking, uh, this entire time, and it seems like he may have gone deeper Jesus. who Doesn't wants end. who wants this this core this core oh there it is that 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 oh. this is the this oh. is this is grub grub this is grub grub cool. yeah i remember yeah. my memory of him is so clear it's like it's i can cool, see him right in front of me oh. <laughs> it's like an image just pop up behind your eyeballs oh. who wants to carry the core reach his hand out uh, let the paladin do it. He's basically a pack meal with morals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're really proud of that one. No, 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 really that was, that that was actually pretty. It's <laughs> a good damn, one. Dude, you should be crazy. proud of it. As actually, Ex silently crazy. agrees. That was actually really, really, <laughs> really good. Uh, Shrug will take a step off and say. You said there was something at the... You, you were able to find a way across the waterfall. Shall we yes. go? Yes. We'll open this door, and we will go. Be careful. All right, get ready, RJ. And by ready, I mean get ready to hide behind the pack mule. All right, Junior, stay close to me, okay? Come on. Oh, yeah, guys, we can, we can, we're fucking ready. Let's go. Oh yeah, something's getting fucked up in a Texas right now. <laughs> we are fucking Oh my god, we're ready. Perfect. Oops. I'll go ahead and move. Junior is just gonna kinda stay next to dirt as, as best as possible. And Shrug will continue to move to the river. I will help keep a look out, hopefully with one of my seven eyes, even though they're not an even number, and it bothers me quite a lot. I'll do my best to look out. Who wants to get you an eye? We can get you an eye. I, like, like an eyeball to to eat? Yeah, I think like, well, no, to put in your head or something. Like, you, know, you probably have yeah. like tech 
cake become one of those things that has an extra eye and take the eye off a of cake and then just turn the back into whatever they normally are. Greg's a goblin. He can just steal it. Yeah, I can do that too. I like to steal shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just Cake is like, I'm just turning the truck for a bit. Craig begins to push one of his knuckles towards Keck's eye to try and get Keck it out. slaps Craig. <laughs> oh, what the hell, man? I tried. I guess go fuck yourself, Shrug. That's what Keck's saying. That is okay. Seven <laughs> eyes are better than two, after all. What? about that? You look like a freak. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are at the river. Uh, Shrug is helping keep a lookout for you guys. Rodney did share uh, the information of where uh, he sensed that um, uh, that that switch. How are you guys going to solve this river? I'll be honest. I thought my idea was going to work, bro. What, I really what did. What are you with this river for? I'm going to just... just yeah, I, I, I thought so, too. I, uh... We're going to have to go all the fucking way around. Like, look at the ping. Watch the ping. Maybe, maybe we can drink it all. Gert's just gonna like put his face into the river and. What the? What are you doing? I'm gonna drink the river. Then it's gone. <laughs> then we don't have it's to. Too much. It's too much. Then help me. Okay. No, it's we can't drink the river. <laughs> I, I think we can do it. That's a defeatist attitude, in. guys. What? It's an underground river. Okay. What, you want the boat ground? They don't even make sense. Kind of like stumbles backwards, like leaning back onto his onto his butt, like leaning backwards. He's like, oh, oh, I'm so bloated. It's too much water. Ooh. I show. Oh. <laughs> oh. I ain't worried about it. See, there's the thing, guys. You know, I don't really know why we're so worried about this river and stuff like that. Why don't we just go across it? Is that what we're doing? We're going across there the There is river? nothing across. And what the hell are we doing? Why are we worried about this river? I oh, for God. Out Rodney! Rodney! Really listen. Rodney! Rodney! He didn't listen to me. He might be knocked out. Yeah. What do you want, man? We need, we need you. We need you. All right. We're doing this again. Are you going to make the throw we're doing, this time? We're doing it again. All right. Yeah, I'll make the throw. I'll make the throw again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. God. Come on, RJ. Surely this guy won't oh, bozo it up again. I'm so here. bloated. Uh, yeah, let's go up the river, Does guys. anybody have any buffs for me? Craig <laughs> 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 climbs into the water. Uh. Was this where, like, the rapids were too bad, right? Yep. So the uh, the rapids are definitely pretty. It's gonna basically move you back thirty feet. Um, so it will take an action oh. and a dash action effectively just to kind of maintain your position in the water. It's pretty dangerous to go alone. So Craig's already in. Oh, so what happens to Craig now? Uh, well, the, are you swimming uh... forward as fast as you can? You just kind of got in there. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. You guys should see. Uh, Craig jumped in the water. Uh, see ya. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of Robido. Uh, and uh, yeah, like it's threatened to pull you 30 feet back. So effectively, you need to burn um, because it's a difficult terrain because of the, the water. Yeah. So you need to kind of dash. But you could probably slowly inch toward there. You're going to be fine. Uh, but if you're trapped out there with no place to go, that could be pretty fucking scary. Come on, Junior. Let's go. There's no way I can sink now. I'm full of water. Athlete. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, All guys, right. Don't so we have either. McConnell and Rodney. This time you guys are actually together with RJ. What's your guys' plan? Uh, okay. So throwing him directly here did not work because he just bounced off something and fell back in. Mm -hmm. But what if we try <laughs> up here somewhere? Just right up the rock. Yeah, totally. I think I think you could definitely lob him. All right, cool. All right, bud. Godspeed. 
I'm gonna get in the water and make sure you catch him when you fail that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good roll. Yeah, you are able uh, to throw it up and above. Um, I actually don't think you would really need an athletic checks for this, just kind of looking at the map, because I can see something that you don't. Uh, you can hear RJ land with a thunk. RJ has some vision that you do not. And Rodney, you have a telepath telepathic link with RJ, right? You can see kind of the senses and everything. Uh, he can convey to me things. Um, so he could like describe to me what he's seeing, yes. Perfect, okay, so RJ can see that the river splits. There's a river on this side and a river on like around like roughly around here. It kind of where these this waterfall split in two. They're going in two different directions in a V. I wouldn't quite call this a delta, but this delta itself seems like it's littered with all kinds of uh very large rocks. In terms of where you sensed that uh that figure, it was right across the river on the on, to the right of you guys this one over here and there seems to be a large rock wall but there is a shore next to it but something's blocking vision that's what Archie currently mm. sees I mean all right so basically from what I can gather there's like a little space up there. He can move around and see some stuff, and there's a little rock wall in front of him. I can have him move around a bit and gather more info, or we can just have him trying to find that trigger we saw earlier. Well, here's the thing. If he gets into trouble, have him jump into the water, and we'll get him from there. There's no way anything hurts him before he jumps into the water. So have him no. scout around. All right, RJ. I'm going to communicate to RJ to move around a bit, and he has, I think, the normal, I think it's like 30 feet normal yep. movement. And we're in exploration mode, so as long as he moves okay. slowly, we should be perfectly fine. I'll let you know if we need to make any rolls or anything. And have him sort of scout the area a little bit. Perfect. Uh, and would I know what the trigger looks like? Because I know I detected it, but I don't know... Yeah, I don't think you would know exactly how it looks like, but you do know the very specific location of it. Be so if you were to get close enough, I think you'd be able to. I think you'd be able to do something about it. But uh, and where was that? Do I remember? Yes. I, I don't remember OOC. It was, it was right, over there. Right? Yeah, it was right here. Yeah, that's where we tried to throw him, and then got blocked mm -hmm. off by this wall right over here. It seems. Yeah. Well, the problem is, is that Rodney can swim, but RJ cannot. The closest he could get is this little outcropping. Uh, and I don't see anything. Could he make a jump? Here. It's pretty, I mean, it's like 15, 20 feet. That's pretty far. Yeah. He's tiny, remember? Yeah, I don't think he'd be able to make it. All I'm going to say is jumping spiders exist. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. They uh, they can they can kind of send it. How is it looking over there? Uh, says uh, says shrug. Uh, well, there seems to be something up here, uh, and you know I detected it earlier. We threw RJ up. He's looking around, but unfortunately. It appears that uh, the river is too deep and too wide for him to get across to it. I can have him blind fire to try to hit it with his force projectile, but, you know, I only installed that to kind of, you know, have him, like, shoot darts at people, maybe hit him in, like, a pressure point. Uh, I'm not really sure. It's kind of a shot in the dark, so to speak. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How tall is my Asimov? Like a pretty, uh, pretty chunky, like, uh, like say, I think, I think in your backstory, he says like, like six and a half feet, like, it's a pretty tall dude. And how tall is this cliff, uh, face I'm, I'm at right now? 
It's, you, I think you said it was yeah, like 10 feet. It's about 10 feet or so. It's very wet and slippery. Are you trying to climb it? I give I'm, you a boost. I'm thinking rot me. Or I climb on you? I don't know. Well, no, I don't know about that. You're a fucking hippo. I'm a hippo. I don't think I can climb on you, brother. I'm thinking rod me boosts me up and I climb over the goddamn cliff. I think that's that could, what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I think that, that I would kind of say that sounds like an athletics check. Athletics is usually used when climbing difficult surfaces, and I'd say that's kind of like an aid. So I think that would give you advantage. Rodney, come over here. I got an idea. All right. Get out of the water. Yeah, what's going on? Listen, I need to get on your back gonna boost me up on your tippy toes so I can climb over the goddamn cliff. <sighs> Come on, man. I need you right here. Yeah, all right. Typical fighter. <laughs> Climbing on the backs of the engineers all the way to the top. <laughs> all right. Let's see that athletics check and go ahead and make it with advantage. You can just roll it twice and we'll take the higher one. Oh, I just, oh, oh, <laughs> I just don't, don't oh, bother. Baby. What? Don't <laughs> don't climbing. bother baby. Perfect. Just yeah, climbing. don't bother rolling the next oh, one. Uh, a natural 20 up to a 26. That most definitely succeeds. You're, it's very slippery and you do realize that if you were to fail, by too far of an amount uh you could have fallen back hit some pretty sharp rocks and then fall into a river to be carried 30 feet a turn away but you gambled and you won you're able to get to the top and you can barely see rj waiting by the um by the uh, by the shore whoa oh man oh man okay whoa all right. What? What is it? You guys won't believe this shit. What's up there? What's up there? You guys are what not gonna it? believe this shit. What's up there? I already don't believe anything. Let me guess. Rocks, mushrooms, and water. Craig yeah, too? That's pretty much it. That's <laughs> God yeah. darn it. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, I'll check the current up here. What's the current up here? This current is still fast. But not Shit. nearly as fast as what you saw before. After all, oh, it seems really? like these two <clears throat> rivers merged at this waterfall. Glancing, you still have that lit grit, uh, greatsword, right? Yes. Yeah, you can see that the depth is also a little bit narrower here than it was, uh, or a little bit more shallow here than it was over there. These two probably combined into a deep and narrow channel, thus creating a fast current of water. It, you still would have a little bit of risk. And you are wearing armor, but that doesn't mean you can't swim. With a good running jump, you know, based off talking and all the information you've shared, you should be able to at least crash into this. And then hopefully you can activate the device before the river sweeps you away. Or I could throw RJ. You could, you have, you have clear, uh, clear line of sight, yes. Okay, I'll pick up RJ real quick, and that way at least uh, Rodney will have some information too. Mmm, yes. I'll pick up uh, RJ, and I'll shot put him right here to the shore. Oh, no, no twirl. No twirl. No, well, actually, yeah, fuck, I'll twirl too. Oh. Yeah, I'll do the twirl. Yep, with the. Uh, yeah, so I'll get some momentum. Ooh. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get an athletics check, please. I think a 21 would lend you great control over your strength as you twirl around and let it go perfectly aimed where you intended for it to go because a 21 up from a 15 is a spectacular uh, feat far above average. RJ is sent into the air careening, uh, witnessing uh, the river just going up into the darkness there and continuing to go down as it gets faster and faster and is able to land and clamber onto the side. Oh. Perfect. Um, RJ is able to see what seems to be a set 
of rocks. And sure enough, underneath it, there does seem to be a lever. Um, well, I think at that point, it's Rodney's call to control RJ, right? Yeah. I'll yell down, like, what do you see? Uh, all right. So, Rodney's showing me that there's a lot more, like, mushrooms in here. There's some big ones, though. Yeah, there's any... some, uh... Like, one of them is, like, giant blue and one's giant red. Ooh, whoa. <clears throat> Do you see the lever? Trigger, whatever the fuck. Uh... That's a great question. I know it's like right here, but I don't really see anything unless it's like yep. in the wall. Yep, it is in the wall. But okay. something curious that RJ is relaying back to you. That wall of rocks that was blocking McConnell's and RJ's vision before seems to be an illusion. Oh, that's fake. And there's some beams I can see in here. So there's like something reinforced or there's some kind of structure in here. Yes, it seems like civilization may be ahead. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, McConnell, it appears that... Uh, how do I put this? Uh, somebody made this area. It's not... Uh, it's not an actual wall. It's, like, fake. And RJ is saying there's, like, you know, the walls are reinforced... So I don't really know what we're dealing with, but you might need to go over there and back him up. There might be people in there. We need to get everybody else up here. Yeah, we. that means we probably got to go around the long way, buddy. All right, good luck. All right. <clears throat> but remember, there is that... There is that lever that you guys haven't pulled. Gets back. Takes a step back. Step back. Another. Another. All the way back. Charges like a goddamn bull. <laughs> <laughs> He's running straight Leaps. into that rock wall. Yes, do it up. Leaps to where I I threw RJ. All right. You don't need to make an athletics check. I think uh, you have more than enough strength to cross this river just because it's like a... 15 feet and you're you have you have more than that in terms of strength so i think you just go right sailing right over and you can see this rock in front of you it gets closer and closer and closer and you can feel this instinctively you can like kind of clench up a little bit and be like oh my god am i just gonna hit a wall but you go right through it and you are able to see that indeed there is a uh that there is a there's a thing there so what the fuck oh yep my god. there's an entire path that was hidden here Almost on purpose. Hey, you see now, McConnell? Yeah, I, yeah. Check, checks wall for lever. Checks wall. Yes. The lever checks. is right here. It's going to take you a little bit of time because it seems like it's mixed with some kind of gear system. But... It looks like you have a little bit of time. You're protected with this wall. If you have been doing this in the middle of a stressful situation like combat, it may have taken a little bit too long. So it's a good thing that you went back to help your allies. But after spending some sibling, after spending some time trying to solve this and kind of figuring out which way to go, eventually you get a little bit frustrated in the last couple of steps and you pull it very harshly and you are able to trigger some mechanism. Rodney outside you can see what seems to be bars and bars of spectral energy slowly form above you on the river until it just barely reaches the coast in front of the others you can cross the river now what? 
like all the way can, up to we the. We can cross. Yes. Or we can go all the way up the. You can the walk. Thing. You can walk all the way up it. The spectral right. path seems Come to be on, almost gang. like a. Whoa! Oh, go for it. We wait, it's something. like a, wait, wait, it's like a what? It's like a what? It's like a spectral bit of energy. It's almost invisible, but you can still see it through the darkness, just Ooh. due to the ambient light in the uh, in the uh, in this cavern. Seems like this was definitely placed here by some civilization, so to speak, that had a pretty decent amount of magical knowledge. Seems like the only way you'd be able to pull this is if you were to get past that illusion in the first place. It seems like this is just a natural security system, but oh. seems like it's safe for now. All right, you guys want to come up here? Damn right we do. It's pretty fucking cool. Uh, dirt. Right, let's go, guys. I'm gonna say dirt. I don't know if the, you maybe you can veto me on this, but I I would I would think it'd be interesting if dirt were able to see the like. The, the, the semi-invisible floor a little bit better than some maybe not maybe not like perfectly and maybe not like in a way that could affect anything else but I think it would be I, I want him to see it a little bit differently than others <laughs> you want uh you want you want to feel special yeah I would do hey come on son look we can go now Craig sees it the same but times two so. Like still Rodney's appearance and blocks the entryway. You know, text a giant hippo and never mention the fact that he can just be a hippo and just go up the river like Rodney and help. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Perfect. As you continue to take steps up the river, you can feel your heart rate kind of increase as you can see the uh, the rushing water beneath you. But you're able to, well, walk right over the water. This wall's fake, guys. I know you think you're going to bang your head, but you just got to trust me, okay? It's like a team building exercise. All right. All right Welcome. Three to go. Welcome. Rodney, right before you go through, mm. it's going to move you right back there. You can see out in the corner. Something is watching you. Uh oh. Oh, God. You can see it standing by the side of the river. Looking at you. It's a different color than you're used to. It's a sickly green. Its claws reach out and kind of snap and flicker what seems to be like a little bit of a a green fire? It seems like it's evolved. It's changed. That's... It glances at you guys, and it seems to have seen everyone walk through. And it lifts up something and crushes it. And it gets a stack of orange charge how far away is this thing and it takes us that's a it is within range but it does seem to be slowly walking away and it seems like it's gonna meld into the stone it doesn't seem like it's pursuing you guys yet it seems like it's pursuing us or it doesn't no it doesn't it does not so we should move now Depends, Rodney. What would you want to do? <laughs> oh, only Rodney saw that. Only Rodney saw that. Oh fuck, dude. <laughs> it definitely doesn't seem like it's scared of you, so it has no reason uh, to consider you guys uh, as something to avoid so it is up to you yeah i'm uh so i don't rodney's not gonna shoot because the other because okay so i take it that the illusion still persists right so they can't see what's outside they cannot see what is okay. outside so there's no point because then rodney wouldn't get any like bragging rights from shooting the thing so he's just gonna go inside and ignore it 
All right. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, Bro, if you guys could see that thing was getting shot 100%. God, no. Perfect. It melds into the corner. You are on the other side of the river, and before stretching in front of you is uh, a another corridor, so to speak, in this in this cavern system. It looks a little bit more tended. Civilization is up ahead, but until you can reach it, you're being hunted. And I think that's where we're going to end the session for today. Oh, oh God what damn it. Oh, man. Maybe I should have shot it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that was... Um, let me go ahead and we'll, we'll go back to we'll go back to the campfire no that was uh that was definitely uh a lot of things just happened that was crazy <laughs> it's uh um yeah th that was definitely a little bit uh that was definitely a little bit dicey especially near the middle uh, but oh, yeah. i don't think you guys have faced an enemy quite like this before so i'm very curious to see as to where you guys are gonna go and take this i'm so confused by the the charges system i'm mm. i'm I'm still trying to. Maybe the people that in the town have more information, but I'm. I know that the you said that he did, the one stays away from blue, so that's interesting. Yeah. I just don't know how. There's a. It seems like opposites don't necessarily attract, so to speak, but they do interact. And you did. Oh, I guess only Rodney actually has this information. That's what he saw. But it seems like this creature, if it can absorb another type of charge, can. Uh, can swap its alignment, so to speak. So, it may still keep an eye out on you guys as you move. So, it's a uh, there will be uh, definitely like as you guys go deeper and deeper here. I'm sure there's going to be all kinds of uh, scary things uh, that you guys see. But I'm just curious because I know in session zero there was a um, there was a recurring theme of like mystery and some like slightly scary shit and also like hard combat. So, I. Curious to see how you guys are going to deal with uh, something lurking in the shadows that's chasing you as you go into like every encounter going from here on out, because uh, you guys are kind of in the wilds right now. So uh, it's it's going to be a little bit of it could be even a game of attrition and survival. So we'll see how that kind of goes. It's Definitely weird because there's bro. like the blue and the orange, and then there's also the mushrooms and the crystals and how that's all yeah, tied together. I'm it's like, so how did they tie together? Yep seems like there's some kind of a uh, it seems like there may be some puzzles in your future i think that was another thing that you guys wanted to see in session zero as so we're kind of taking our way up into that uh so we'll see uh we'll see what's happening down here deep down deep down in these caves uh but um but yeah i hope you guys uh enjoyed today's session and... oh yeah yeah it's good yeah it's, uh... <laughs> well, not... <laughs> it was great. Was, I loved being dead, dead for an hour. Ninety like percent. I rolled hot on that first rock throw. I didn't actually Holy think fuck, it was gonna one shot smashed, him. brother. I was like, oh no. Yeah. I thought it would deal like maybe half that much, bro. And Dude, it destroyed. Like, that thing was fucking people up. I was yeah. like, we're getting fucking rolled. Yeah. It's like it's like a and the. Like, it's like god like a, a a craig was able to tank so many cool things i'm like oh it'll be fine what's the worst that could possibly happen and then like <laughs> oops. oh crap oops uh just a uh, one shot him right at the very start i'm sure he's gonna have a great <laughs> amount of interaction he can do uh but as you know i do try to make sure that if i'm gonna throw something really scary that there's always some things on the map that can either help you or hurt you uh so um i'm glad that you guys were able to find the courage to forge ahead uh but it's uh yeah, I think uh, we'll we'll have to see what's going to happen, especially because this thing can ambush you. So, may not want to stay at very low HP. But I think um, mm -hmm. going forward, we're definitely going to uh, things are going to get more and more dangerous from here on out. Uh, but of course, you know where there's risk, there's reward. So we should be able to get you guys some kind of a really really cool stuff. And I'm feeling like there's mm -hmm. some really good loot at the end of whatever the hell this is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the corpse told you, I think. That was all thanks to all yeah. things to Keck. I think if it weren't for Keck, you would not uh you I think you could they could say a little bit of a thank you, you know, it's uh Thank you. Thanks, Keck. Craig would thank you, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I I feel like you didn't have uh faith in my saving throws and you were just like, Okay, the monster just kills you instead. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's um but I won't say too much, uh, but uh, 
Um, I mean, how much should I save this after session, or should I save it for next time? Save it. Mm. I would save it. Mm, yes. So, also, you could you could also just say like, um, they take maybe they take uh, the properties of spiders, where instead of just outright killing you, they'll try to they want to eat you alive, so they try to preserve mm. you and try to mend you up a little mm. bit, so you don't just outright die. I'll th that, thank you. That's more settling. Yeah, I'm sure that makes uh, Haruna feel a lot better. Uh, yes, uh, remember, uh, creatures will do things uh, based off what they um, what they want to do. There's always a reason. If it was just a wild creature, I think Haruna and Craig would probably be dead. No, Craig would have dodged. Yes, as an unconscious body, dodge. happily. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, you did a great yeah. job dodging uh, that uh, that boulder that just came flying out of the darkness. Look, look, here's the thing. It's like Uncharted, where the the devs have basically said that like he's not actually getting shot over and over again. It's just that he's running out of luck. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> That's a really high luck skill. That is a pretty uh, good way to put it. Like uh, HP, after all, is um, it's a uh, is what it's called. Uh, the it's a. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a, it's not just your health, it's also kind of like your grit and your ability to fight through injury, your morale, and maybe even luck at the point. That's a really good way of putting it. Uh, but that creature um, definitely had a reason for doing what it did. As for what it's going to be doing and why it saved your life, well, I think you guys saw that it's, um, it may have taken something from you, and it may simply consider you not enough of a threat to Excellent. not want to farm. So, we'll see. I hate the... hearing that. Yeah, it's like, a... It makes me feel like if, if something doesn't consider a party of, like, what, five people a threat, that's kind of scary. Seven if you include RJ yeah. and the yeah, cannon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and we, eight We have a lot junior. of people. Like, it's... We are not a small force, and that thing is, like, no fucks given. <laughs> Just you have to, walking and dropping elbows on people. To also remember, it considered us a threat when we weren't rested from the previous experience. We had no abilities, and most of us were were damaged in some kind of way, like hurting pretty bad. Maybe it's just really perceptive. Mm, yes, it's a. Uh, oh oh yeah. no, it's a. Uh, it definitely could. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it could be. Uh, just like how you guys have like tactics and stuff sometimes when you face like humanoid targets that have like relatively high intelligences they'll try to flank you guys they'll try to like hide around corners and abuse line of sight uh to try to get an advantage against the party uh they'll behave in very aggressive ways and sometimes defensive if they need to depending on the situation you know sometimes um uh, enemies can scheme against you so uh, i like that i hope you guys that like horror sense. stories because you guys are living in one right now so uh oh, yeah it seems <laughs> like cool. it, man. That's okay cool. well you know what it needs to remember the fun it's having now because heck is gonna turn into the image of its mom <laughs> and come Ooh. after you. a real story horror story is gonna be yeah. in its mind <laughs> You've got some pretty scary shit in your character sheet, He's actually. You're gonna need therapy. Yeah. yeah you I was gonna say. You have some therapy some... inducing shit for sure. Like, 100%. Yeah. But, um, yes. Uh, I am definitely looking forward to next time uh, because it seems like uh, you've transcended deeper and deeper into uncharted territory. And for those of you watching, uh, thank you for hanging out with us so long. I hope you enjoyed it. It's, uh, it's been an absolute blast having you guys and i just gotta say i got to say thank you bottom players really fast but hold on for a little bit because right after i'd like to hang out a little bit maybe we can chat live a bit but okay. guys i hope you had so yeah. much fun i'm really looking forward to playing with you guys again right man thank you as always yeah, thank, thank you time is good good. Shit. thank yeah. you thank you so <laughs> much and uh, <laughs> and, uh now that you guys oh got God. it, long rest. Uh, hopefully, a single boulder won't just take one of you out of commission at the very Trust start. Me, I oh, I know the feel because in the other game that I'm playing, my character is this furbolg uh, cleric, and he's like maybe like lukewarm IQ, like a California spring day. You know, he's <laughs> he is not all there, and like there's a lot of times where I I stick to the character, and so. 
you know, his natural instinct is to, like, sit down in a corner and start eating rations and playing with his pet rats. But, like, you know, the other part, the rest of the party members are out there, like, having, like, intriguing dialogue with the innkeeper. And I'm like, oh, me hungry, take a nap. And then I'm just a viewer for 20 minutes. <laughs> and it's how it is, man. Most definitely. And I think, um, well, hey, I guess, um, maybe there will be good use to stock up on some healing potions and uh, other assistive abilities. Maybe you want to be very, very, very nice to Keck uh, so that she can bring you guys back up from the brink. Uh, so, yes, it's. Uh, I had a great time. It was, it was exciting for me to run as well. Really looking forward to playing next time. And yes. get yeah. and Thank you. Thank you. Definitely. No, really Those of you watching, Thank you. sit real tight. We'll hang out just after this.